church. I'm like, oh, I'm leaving to do a fight camp. He's like, oh, with who? And I'm like, oh, the ghost of Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Please put it full screen. Hey, <laughs> You guys don't like my new hat? <laughs> I love your new hat. Can you explain that theory and how it's working for you? Well, <laughs> it's working beautifully, and I'm continu I'm continuing to cred max right now. Listen, I would be <laughs> if I <laughs> Taylor thinks he's he's got Down syndrome, he and that's just because. Look, <laughs> he does. He has oh. Down syndrome. He obviously has Down he syndrome. Has Down My syndrome. dog does not have Down syndrome. Yes, he he's does. You got him from, from the short pound. He's a good boy. Civil suit and the jury. And everything you're basing yeah, this Jones on. Jones have an opportunity to defend himself in this trial. Everything you're basing this on. Alex Jones did have an opportunity no, to defend himself. No, no, he, he did not. He, he went for years not dead. cooperating with no, the trial. No, he did he went, cooperate. He did. No, cooperate. he didn't show up every time they tried to depose him. They. Boom. No. You know, exactly <laughs> you know no. exactly what happened here. And it happened, and I was like, <laughs> and he was next to me. And I guess he thought it was funny too and happy that I enjoyed it. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and I was like, oh, oh. I was like, swear, like, that wasn't a laugh I shared with you. Why so, didn't they use a general anesthetic for you? Did you save money on this, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And you're like, Oscar, I need yeah. you to understand this. Me llamo es Mateo. <laughs> T -T. All right. What, what so is this? this one minute long? Yeah. Let's sit back. Hey, friends. It's me again, Dr. Wadsworth. Well, today I'm coming to tell you all about my new favorite product. It's called Lock. And load. Are you sick of dribbling like a chimp? Do you <laughs> wish you were a real man? Have an overwhelming desire to fire rainbows like Woody. <laughs> well, lucky for you, I have found the solution. With only nine mildly uncomfortable pills a day, <laughs> take out the neighbor's cat from across the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to hours and hours of hand callousing research by paid <laughs> professionals, you can too. So buy lock and load today. That's great. I like how Why is someone, there a heart rate monitor? There's going. someone like on a, on the, there's a, someone's yeah. about to die in the background. Yeah. Hey, like, did, did you hear like the like someone's on a ventilator in the background <laughs> dying? He's an actual COVID in doctor. An oval ward. <laughs> but he stopped for a minute to talk about the Bennett's of Lock and yeah. Load. Oh, old Mrs. McGillicuddy has triple pneumonia. Don't pay no attention to that. From that guy, <laughs> he's dressed like a doctor. That's yeah. Woody's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was a doctor. That's perfect. They don't let Let's... you dress like a doctor if you're not a doctor. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> it's like, I just don't like penis. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I you do whatever you want. <laughs> no, it's their problem. I wouldn't have made myself gay. And, yeah. and, and everyone behind, and he's wearing a crown of emeralds. That's the yeah. worst part. He's wearing the crown of emeralds. Like, yeah, we got so many of these. If you just dig a little deeper, it's all emeralds down there. Well, it's Johansson told you, burn the gays, you get your emeralds. What are you people doing? <laughs> Why did they become Italian from... Well, oh, the pub what are you doing? Hey. Fucking Jesus here. I'm discriminating here. I'm walking I'm on water here. <laughs> I don't know. I imagine them in Rome for some reason. Oh. <laughs> now they try and you. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I had two loaves and five fishes. I don't know why you're saying that. <laughs> you're saying that 15 trucks worth of loaves and fishes gone missing. I made this out of two. I don't know what you're talking about, officer. You can talk to Pontius Pilate if you, if you feel so inclined. But uh, things might go poorly for you. <laughs> that's, that's the way it would go. You know, Italian Jesus robbing the Romans to pay himself. An American <laughs> Italian <pope. laughs> is what we're talking about. Yeah, I, I remember I was I was like nervous leading up to my dual com with Wings and my dual com with Woody because they were both very big guys, and I was like, "This is your chance." Here and I go. I remember like thinking for some reason that like Wings was like a consummate professional. 
<laughs> about, about, like, like in my head like this is 2010 yeah. and and so i i went into it and i was like we were sitting on the call before we were gonna start and i'm like nervous my heart's pounding i'm like i hope i give a good impression because he's such a big guy he's got twelve thousand subs or twenty thousand subs whatever it was and like right before we start i'm like ready to go he's like you good i'm like yeah and he goes okay well hold on a minute i gotta go tt <laughs> wait and I, and what I was is like, tt did he have to poop he no he pee. had to go pee and i was like but he said I, I tt okay. go that's what he said tea. it's like okay pee -pee, but... okay that's <laughs> all right buddy can i tell okay. you my story yeah We're, <laughs> Do it. i'm all excited right and i'm doing a dual com with wings like my big chance and i'm prepared and i've done i've got all my ducks in a row and i'm ready to do this dual com he cancels on me. We have to do another day. Okay. All right. I get this is nothing to you, but to me, this is my big moment. But yeah. fine, fine, fine. <laughs> the next day, we're about to do our dual comp. And he's like, Woody, what do you do for constipation? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have a grandma? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, Frosted Mini Weeds is kind of magic on me. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we, we yeah. Did. But have you ever been like researching a conspiracy or something wild for a video? And you're like, after a few hours, days, whatever, you're like, oh, this is getting a little too real and wild. Not this one. Let's find yes. a different one. Yes. What What yes. are some yeah. examples of that? If you can okay. um, so the the one that really like did me in was I went really down all the Epstein stuff when that happened. Yes. Yeah. Um, and this this was before like I did the YouTube stuff. I was just like, is it is it really that bad? And then I, I remember like getting legitimately depressed. I mm -hmm. got so into that. I got so into looking where money was going. I got so into who owned these places, who like went where. I just got depressed because I'm like, man, it really is everyone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. and that, that, it was like, like people joke about like, oh, the black pill. I remember being like, wow, everyone is evil everywhere. That is so <laughs> sad. Um, uh, I remember like having to step away from that. Mm -hmm. And just kind of take a moment to uh, like reevaluate myself. Yeah. Um, but like, I, I've come to peace with it now. Of like, you know, I'm my worth isn't reliant on those who have greater faculty or power above me or whatever. But man, yeah. I tell you what, that was sad. Um, that that would be the big one. Mm -hmm. There's been some other minor ones that I've like sort of like dabbled in i'm like oh, i don't want to know how much more of this i want to find out about one, mm -hmm. one of them was the benghazi stuff i got really into that more recently like in the past year and i remember researching that and being like this is depressing <laughs> yeah <laughs> because it's not like i don't come up with the stuff like aha everyone who's in charge of us is evil people whatever and be like i figured it out it's just like well dang it <laughs> you're just telling it like it was <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. Much like ah oh, man oh, whatever you're just I like, go, I didn't know there were this many the pedophiles. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to go walk in the woods now. So. That is funny. Like bathroom, how the Epstein thing. Real quick. I'll be right like back. When it, when it first came out, people were like, right. So there's just a bunch of pedophiles in positions of power all over the world. <laughs> and then you look into it and it's like, wow, there are pedophiles in positions of power all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy farmers are really very powerful. And like muscle milk here is muscle MLK. R.I.P. It doesn't have an eye in it. They, it literally doesn't have an eye in it. Yeah, it wrapped around. It, wrapped it says around. muscle milk. Uh, I have a dream that we're all going to get so fucking jacked we can fight the Republic. Muscle milk. I have a dream that I can hit my macros in a convenient way at gas stations and convenience they stores. They can't, call it, they can't call it milk here, so it literally says muscle milk, but there's I no eye in the milk. I want to see a muscle MLK like Photoshop so goddamn bad. I want to see him ripped. I want to see him like on Ronnie Coleman's body. That's what I want. I want MLK on Ronnie Coleman's body. Make it Dude, happen. I'm sure there's yeah, I'm muscle sure MLK. I like that. Absolutely. That's, it's out there. That you're going to find, you're gonna get MLK on that black guy's body. You know which one I'm talking about sitting on the side of the bed. That oh, exists. that exists <laughs> out there. OG, OG, um, OG Mudbone. Yeah. Isn't that guy dead? Yes. I don't know. Is he? Not with I remember, Photoshop. Like, he's something not about him. Um, I remember, I remember something about him. How I, like he needed the money, and uh, and he had to like pose for those photos for to like help someone I read in that his too, life. Yeah. Uh, like like somebody was like mm. maybe health issues or whatever. Like someone needed money, and so he posed for those photos, and he regrets it. 
regretted it apparently. Oh, well, that's now sad. Photoshop. Thanks, Kyle. Now it's complicated. Yeah, now we're human like, traffickers yeah. when you deal with you that. It with your now deal with that. Right. Yeah, no, I no. just like they're like they're like he. She's dying. We need you. We need your gigantic cock right now. We need you. Muscle. If there was ever a time that the world needs your humongous hanging dick. It's right now. It's now. Just sit there and look regal, because we're going to put MLK's face on you. <laughs> I understand what my wing packing team was telling me. This is the way to the taxi. I'm a little suspicious that they're right, but I don't have any phone signal. So it's the best information I have. I was hiking. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to figure it out. No phone signal. Little Oscar just kind of pointed in a direction. And you're like, Oscar, I need yeah. you to understand this. Me llamo es Mateo. Me llamo es Oscar. Si, si. Oscar, I need you to listen to me because it's important. Me llamo es Mateo. <laughs> you gotta get me out of here, Oscar. My name is Matthew. <laughs> what I did is I went to Valle de Bravo, Mexico. So it is about two hours outside Mexico City. I think Central Mexico is like the cartel area of Mexico, not the um, not the edges, which are like the resort areas of Mexico, mm -hmm. right in the middle where I was. Um, cartel activity. I didn't notice any of it, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I suspect it's overblown. But what it is, is um, it's well known for being a good place to go paragliding. And, and quickly, this is the deal. I go paramotoring. Everyone knows that. You have an engine on your back to help you gain altitude. Paragliding is the same thing with no engine. So you jump off the side of a mountain. And mm -hmm. you would think the sun heats the air, but it doesn't. The sun passes right through the air. That's why it's cold at the top. What the sun does is it heats the ground. The ground heats the air. And then you get these really super mild, invisible tornadoes that we call thermals. And their rising columns of air and the paraglider will search out these rising columns of air gain altitude fly somewhere else do it again fly somewhere else do it again I've done that's that the Mario. point oh really yeah mario Kart. Yeah. So, so zach can you show the first video this is what the launch site looks like thank you zach so fast and th this is basically what i was doing this isn't me but this is just like me play and uh, so this dude's going to inflate. Look at his wing. Oh, it looks really easy. Jump off the side and fly away. Yeah, now like anybody, he's in... could, anybody could probably do that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was the thing where you grabbed onto the bar and it was like the, the plane. Looking. So that's hang gliding. Hang gliding has oh. fallen out of popularity. Um, it's better in a lot of ways. It's faster. It glides farther. So you get more opportunities to find rising air. And you can control your pitch better. But... That hang glider weighs like a hundred pounds. You have to have like a special vehicle that can get to the mm. top. You can't land anywhere. So you can't just like maximize your opportunities to go as far as you can. Instead, you really better land in a good spot. You can't just land in some random farm and mm -hmm. hike your way out because it's not hikeable. And um, people, I, I don't know, it's not as popular as it yeah, was. Knowing that, years ago. I, I never would have imagined that was a hundred pounds. I thought it was like PVC made up pipe number, and some canvas. It's, <laughs> it's not also... 75, 100, something. Yeah. It's a lot. I would also just say, like, like I, I always hear about hang gliding accidents. Like, the hang gliding accident is almost like, like, I don't know, Philly cheese steak. Like they, those, those, roll, <laughs> those, those words just kind of roll together. Uh, hang gliding accident. Second only, uh, hang gliding death or hang gliding tragedy. Uh, they, I don't know. Something about those seems dangerous. It, it seems like they almost let anybody do them. Uh, they get that, like, instructor guy who, like, gets in doggy position on top of you. Mm. And then, and then you dangle underneath him like some sort of weird suspension set. Prone bone, maybe. No offense, uh, <laughs> and then they. But I've seen instances of like the the poor pastor like coming unhooked. Yeah, and he's like, and he's like hanging, and like, <laughs> not everybody has the upper body strength to dangle for Who like does? long periods of time. Have, <laughs> do, do you ever do like uh, like like hangs like like I, yeah. I can't think of what you call them, but just you know you it's hold a static on to a hang, yeah, static hang. They I, so are I'm, not I, easy. I think I'm above average at that. And by being above average, over a minute, I think. But I don't yeah. know if I could get to the like finish a flight. Yeah, and you're <laughs> trying to fly. Like this is <laughs> this is how stupid I am. Like the first time, like I'd seen so many videos of hang gliding where it was just like 
in the middle of the flight, the guy's like his body's straight back and he's hanging onto the thing. And for some reason, like if I had thought about it rationally, I'd have realized this doesn't make any sense. But I always thought like he's not even strapped to that thing. He's going so fast. His his body's like a windsock and he's just kind of like <laughs> and then I was watching one video where that strap snaps and the guy's just like oh, 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 and I'm like, oh okay, this this doesn't make work. You see, it would my theory would make sense if this guy was going. 200 miles an hour <laughs> but not uh, 40 so so you went to do some uh paragliding i did and my para friends were like so you're probably researching this like crazy spending all your time finding like where to go and what to do and i'm like what was i supposed to do research i like uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm just sending it bro so uh so that's that's pretty much what I did. I I know how to inflate and run off the side of a mountain. I've done that before, so I did that. So what happened next was then you got you got um, the guys orchestrate the race right. Excuse me against um, against uh, SmackDown. SmackDown gets moved, and then there's a lot. Of, the, the guards then move a lot of people in and move, and move a lot of people out. And all of a sudden, on the end cell, on the upper tier, there's these three Italian guys. And we're like, how the fuck have all that, them got in the cell together? And there was Bruno, the guy who just contacted me after 20 years. There was a guy we called Roscoe. So in, in my book, I just want to say this as a disclaimer, I've changed the names for legal purposes. Yeah. And people say, because I've said a different name, I'm lying, but which is BS. So the Roscoe was the head of them. And Bruno just told me now, Roscoe has got two life sentences. He showed me his prison page roscoe's now got two life sentences for conspiracy to commit murder so he was the head of their gang in in uh, that jail at that point in time this is towers jail 2002 sheriff joe pies running this one and then they had another guy in there called hugo who was like their butler he was like squeezing orange juice for him all this shit now roscoe had it so good that he was outside with the guards at night smoking giving them orders you see the Italian mafia in these movies. You think, is this real? I saw it with my own eyes. It's very real. But that stuff comes later on. So the Italians move in. You've got some Aryan Brotherhood guys in there. And now they've got no leader. Now, when there's a, a leader required, it's white boy meeting, cell seven, get your ass over there, or else you're going to get mm -hmm. smashed. So the woods go from door to door, telling every other wood, getting that meeting, white boy meeting. We're going to vote on a new head. Now, the competition, it was Roscoe was one of the white boys running for leadership. And the other one was this skinhead Steve who had um, tattoos of a gas chamber on his... <laughs> on his yeah. he had, just, he had, just fucking mask off Nazi. <laughs> just, just so. He had Hitler, Zeke Heiling, on his chest... Over a gas chamber. Was it well done? <laughs> what, was it well done or did it look terrible? You know, was uh, it like a really detailed <laughs> Hitler? Did you see that Hitler and you were like, eh. no, 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 no matter, no matter how good was it. I can't remember the proficiency of it, but I'm thinking these are scary motherfuckers when I'm seeing <laughs> these tattoos. These, dude, this is for life, you know. You put that shit on your chest. This is for like, these guys are committed. Yeah, he's a he, that, that, that guy. Like, Psychos. Didn't, that guy didn't like Hitler for a weekend. <laughs> like he, he's, he's he's all in. This wasn't this wasn't a summer infatuation. This was a, a romance. <laughs> Sorry. So so fortunately, Roscoe got voted in over the Aryan guys, and there was an uneasy coexistence between them. But immediately things started to change. So. There became like a circus atmosphere. Like we adopted a young person called Sonny Slope who would do our laundry and he was selling me extra cheeses. If the guards were going to raid the pod, Roscoe knew in advance, so we'd hide all our shit. And then, we'd, you know, the guards would come in, flash grenades and all this shit and get us, strip us naked and spread our ass cheeks and look in our assholes mm -hmm. and trample on our pictures of our girlfriends and have sniffer dogs on our assholes and all this shit. But as soon as th those guards had gone, the goon squad, Roscoe would have the guards bring us back all clean stuff, all clean bedding and towels and boxes and B stripes. This is how good he had it. Ro and Roscoe he said, seemed, wait, was he doing that for other people too, or just himself? The whole fucking pod, man. 
And then he's a popular then, leader, right? Oh shit! Th- th- this was just the beginning. He comes into my cell, and he says, "He says, Sean, you know, attention to the Aryan brother. I know you got a lot of co-defendants. If I move all your guys in here with you, you know, will you guys work with us? Blah blah blah." I'm like, "Yeah." So next, <laughs> thing, next thing, I've got two co-defendants in my three-man cell with me, and one mm. of them is a guy called Joey Crack. He's dead as well now, Joey Crack. God bless him. He was like a walking drug testing kit wherever he went. If you want to do a drug deal, he'd just get out a syringe, put it in his fucking neck and be like, yeah, that's good stuff. He was like like this feisty New York Italian guy, always talking a million miles an hour. So he started to regale the Italians with stories about wild men. The nightly thing was, you know, they would come to my cell, we'd hang out, We'd all sit around and Bruno would be like, come on, Joey Crack, tell us another story about Wildman. Because Joey Crack and Wildman, you know, they were hanging out on the outs for a couple of years before all, all, all the SWAT teams came. How's the shadow people? Have you, have you been, <laughs> how are they? Uh, uh, the true question. Very little. I think I saw one shadow person very briefly a couple of months ago. Uh, so my office, the door is kind of right over here, just off camera. And I'm just sitting here doing my thing. And I saw a humanoid kind of shadow walk by. I looked at it and I looked down at the dog and the dog didn't look. And I was like, well, that's probably not real. And I kind of went back to my editing. That's not too bad. No, and it's not. It's not. Let's hope that dog hasn't gotten used to the intruder living in your home. <laughs> no, I've, I've always uh, had to rely on pets for a little a little gauge of reality. If you hear a weird noise or see a weird thing, is the dog interested in it? If the dog's yeah. not interested, it's probably all up here. You've got a whole canary in the coal mine thing going on for your uh, for your hallucinations. Yeah, yeah pretty clever. much. Pretty much. Those are extremely infrequent as an adult. As a kid and a teenager, not so much. As an adult, very managed. Yeah, mine are very infrequent. I had none. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then, you know, we're, we're hoping that it stays that way, but you never know. <laughs> Dude, I was th- this is just the other night. Like okay. I had just watched I-, I watch a lot of like campy, shitty horror movies late at night. I enjoy them. I, I really I like them. But like you still like if there's a ghoulish face or something, it might stick out to you. And mm-hmm. like I don't really get spooked too much. It just holds my attention. And I was going to bed and like I was looking at, you know, those like side like taller windows that are to the side of your door. Yeah. You can, like, or, kind of see through. Uh-huh. I was my walking life. down my hall and I looked and I saw like an angle off of it that looked like the same ghoulish face of that, of that uh, got, like monster from the movie. Yeah. And I was like, I like didn't respond, but I felt my heart rate go like, up, 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 up. and then I like looked a little closer and it was like, Oh, that's a, that's the light playing oh. tricks. And then I went to bed. I can't imagine spending the rest of the night with what you did where you're like, it's probably not a demon. Probably. It's almost <laughs> probably. certainly not a demon. Like, so this, I, like, I think this is a thing that men do and women don't do when they see something scary at night. Because I've always do the same thing. And I don't know why. When I see something that I don't know what it is and like the dark, I, I freeze and I stare. I don't want to let whatever I, it is know that I'm afraid. <laughs> yes. And, and, yeah. and but what it really is is I'm 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 computing in my mind. I'm like my mind is like taking that smudgy yeah. figure I see and like you know like fucking moving it Your around and transposing it trying smooth. to figure out like like coat rack coat rack. Yep, it's a hoodie on a it's a hoodie on a chair. Hoodie on a chair. Okay, hoodie <laughs> on a chair with a demon mask next to it. That's not my mask. Oh no. You know, you got to <laughs> you got to figure that out, right? Like real quick. Oh, but yeah. I've noticed when my girlfriend would see something scary, it's always ah! and run. She yeah. like, like like I think it's the difference between fight or flight. Not that I'm down to do combat with a demon. I want to run too, but it's just not my first inclination. I'm always just like, you know how a dog will do that like instinctive like pointer thing where where like they they all stick their tails yeah. out and like like I, I think there's something like that with us too. I, I think maybe sure. so. I hate kind of hunting instinct, investigation, yeah. evolutionarily just built in at defaults to most men. Also a desire to know what the fuck is going on because if something is actually wrong it would be best to know what is actually wrong instead of ah i'll just go to bed and not think about it russia invaded a sovereign country of 40 something million people with tanks with with combined arms the way we do modern military all the pieces he moved at once special forces helicoptering in airlifted in rocket bombardment paratroopers tanks armored vehicles my everything you yeah know. so i have some army friends a lot of army people are into paramotors and uh they're laying out like they're bringing in the ll88s or whatever the fuck they are and uh they're like this tells me 
that they feel comfortable bringing in the big planes. This tells me that they've taken out all the air defenses. This tells me it's about to get way worse and thousands of Mm. troops and heavy artillery is about to roll in via airplane. Oh, and and by the way, I I pointed out they're doing this in Kiev, I think, which is the capital. Apparently uh, they reclaimed the Kiev airport, though. Uh, Oh, I'm out of date then. Okay. Yeah, I was reading just this morning that uh, so Russia bombed it, landed paratroopers and took it. And then uh, they fought back and Ukraine has uh, reclaimed it. So, but it's it's so hard to find like proper information oh. on everything. It's what do you that's, know? That's what they're saying. Yeah. Taylor, you uh... I apologize. I was saying, yeah, like I, like what he was saying, I saw that thing that was like the Kiev airport has fallen. But like by the time you get news that they got retaken, it could have fallen again. Like, yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't feel like it's a very quick they, streamline of info. When they retook it, did they get those big planes? What happened to the thousands of people that were in it? Like, yeah. how did how much did they retake? Did they get the Cinnabon? What I took from that, important part. what I took from that was that they landed like special forces there or something, like maybe 30 guys. And those 30 guys uh-huh. killed a bunch of people at the airport and locked it down. And then the Ukrainians, because they lived there and there are millions of them, sent in like a bunch of people and killed those people and now they have it again that's what it sounded like says as of seven hours ago it's under russian control good information is hard to come by oh by the way as you're listening to this on saturday i'm sure this is totally relevant oh yeah everything we say is going to be wrong (laughs) (laughs) there's not even going to be ukraine yeah (laughs) right so maybe like uh maybe we don't give like refer to it as at this very moment they are crossing the yeah that that's that's a relevant conversation but like just the fact that Mm -hmm. he's done this and the way he's done this like so it's wild like he just doesn't like, give a fuck here. He there, there's no real pretense. Um, he's and and he's got the uh, he's well, coming from Belarus as well from the north. I didn't see any yeah. simulations uh, show anything like that. His his like whole whole pretense is uh it, it it's like a total throwback though. Like because I, I don't know if you guys know the like the history of the region, but like Ukraine and Russia used and Belarus used to be all the same country, and then mm-hmm. they split. Uh, like uh, Kiev was the capital in the. Kiev and Rus like ages ago. This is like mm-hmm. sixth century. But the uh so they split and then Moscow was in charge of uh the Ukraine and then they when they joined USSR they gave them Crimea as like a show of trust. And then then they wanted it back when after they left the USSR and they were like, now we're keeping that. So God. Then they, then yeah, when they took it back, they were like, "Yeah, this actually belongs to Russia." So it's like confusing. I was I was trying to understand, like, like wrap my head around how big that front is, you know, extending from like Belarus and wrapping all the way back around to Odessa, whatever the fuck that is, in the in the in the southern sea down yeah. there. Like, I was trying to wrap my head how big that is, and so I found an overlay of of uh, Ukraine like over the United States because that's what I'm yeah I've driven across seems like it's like three or four states that they've got there it's, it's like, one of the bigger european countries yeah mm. it's, it's like the second uh, biggest european country like just that front seems to be like the entire coast from like georgia to the top of north carolina or something at least like it's a it's several mm. hundred miles i forgot to ask for this on pkm but if anybody's in like ukraine and messed up in all this nonsense and you're still taking the time to listen to us like like thank you for for, for doing that um and look at and stay safe but yeah. if you could like <laughs> write rsk on a piece of russian like destroyed like uh stuff or something like that'd be that'd be pretty sweet yeah you know they have like v's and z's <laughs> and stuff i want an rsk on the side of a tank Imagine yeah if that. you could graffiti some like russian equipment that was burnt out you know i mean don't risk your life i mean maybe a little but like i mean get the job done that's what i'm saying but, <laughs> but really and, and then start and then and then when you post it on social media say that it's the attempt at a viral trend and it stands for russia stop killing Yes. And- <laughs> <laughs> and then try and get the attention of some some dumbass journalist and see this is going in the the idea notebook for Kyle. <laughs> yeah, <it stands. laughs> the, <laughs> the group Russia stop killing, taking the country by storm. That would be so, <laughs> be funny. so funny. You guys will be able to get your uh, Russia stop killing shirts next week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all profits will, of course, be going to us. Don't yes. make excuses. Oh, we're, I'm not, not sending a dime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to like misconstrue anything. 
I'll probably <laughs> be going to my, little, my fridge isn't going to restock Zevia on its own. No, sir. No, <laughs> sir. It won't. Because no, okay. that. that was before mm-hmm. I went to prison. Same. I remember like walking into that hot ass theater, stressed about going to prison in like a couple, in, like two weeks or something like that. <laughs> Being like, this is the last fun thing I'll probably do before. No, prison. this is my end game. Dude, that sucks, man. Yeah. That oh man, that was the worst. That was so awful. <laughs> yeah. I I, I have speak? nightmares of that all the time. Not all the time, but like at least once a year. I'm like, I did something really bad, and we go to jail. And then I'm like, what? It, it, it's in there somewhere. What have I done? What have I done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I just remember like, like we stopped at a Zaxby's. Um, and What's that? Chi- it's a chicken restaurant, like chicken fingers huh. and fries. Um, like, we were like three miles from the prison and we stopped there to like eat because we had like an hour to kill. And I, I was just the most miserable <sighs> oh, meal. <laughs> killing time before prison. Oh, oh. Nuts. I had had no sleep the night before. And um, we had gotten... Um, uh kitty wanted to go with me so kitty and uh a friend drove us and i was just in the back of the car trying to get sleep like laying down because i'd been up all night like trying mm-hmm. to sleep but i couldn't sleep and uh we stopped at that zaxby's and that was just the most miserable like chicken finger lunch and uh and i was just like this is the last thing i'll have oh to man it's really dude, good uh... Dude, it makes me, it stresses me out to like I'm empathize so and put myself in that situation. And then, we, and then they, they drive me up to the fucking prison. And I'm like, I'm like, give me, give me some of them cigarettes. Give me some, I'm smoking her cigarettes out there. I'm like, <laughs> like burning them fucking down, like, like, like trying to get some stress relief. And I'm like, yeah, I go in right there and I go up right there. And, and, and the guy's like, yeah, you don't come in here. You go in over there. And I'm like, already, we fucked up. We got to go somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> well, that's an extra month. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like <laughs> And, uh, you know, just, just finally get again there and trying to like feel the guards out while I'm waiting on the, the metal detector being, being like, what? being like, <laughs> being like, what's it like here? I can I want to, I want to like really pitch in and do my part. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he just like punches me in the face immediately. <laughs> Did, oh, in man. like, in your heart of hearts, you were walking into prison, had any part of you thought out cool lines to say to what you anticipated they the other prisoners would ask about like, like why i was there like what yeah, you in like, for like you yeah know? what are you in for like like a, a cool like i'm an i'm a cool guy i'm a chill guy i'm a nice guy like that kind of approach I, I i just think i'm better on off my on my feet with stuff like that so i, I didn't i i um you know i i knew that there were certain things that i didn't want to say it was the it was the other way around. I had thought of things uh, that I didn't that I wanted to make sure I didn't say or ask. So you, yeah, I, I'm I, not I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not him. Yeah, I, I want to go in there like <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean they that the guards recognized me, so that was a thing right away. But but um but I, I it was more a list of things that I didn't want to say or ask. Like I didn't want to go in there ask anybody about what are you in for? Yeah, for all yeah, I know yeah. it's a, it might be a touchy fucking subject for raping someone who asked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like little things like that. I just oh. got here. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in Cigarette Hooker Hotel. Uh, <laughs> Sam told me to book this hotel. It's terrifying. <laughs> uh, oh it's yeah, literally it the right second now. I'm done here, I have a mysterious address that on Google Maps looks like a parking lot, <laughs> and I'm going to meet him there. And I'm like, it'll be about midnight. He's like, that's okay. And I'm like, great. I'm like that too. So I'm like, okay. So I gave the keys of my life to maybe one of the only guys on the internet that makes me feel nervous. <laughs> that guy. I gave him the keys to my life. It was very difficult saying to my boxing coach, a pro boxing coach, I'm like, oh, I'm leaving to do a fight camp. He's like, oh, with who? And I'm like, oh, the ghost of Kiev. <laughs> 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 You're you're doing the I dubs fight. Yeah. And so you've, dumb, you've conscripted eh? Sam Hyde to get you in punching form. So what is your yeah. full plan leading up to it? I honestly I'll give you guys like the whole whole thing how it even got here to begin with. Definitely. Um I dubs I don't listen. Um I don't have like a savage killer instinct in me. I'm not Kyle, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, I don't have that. So when I dubs like, oh, do you want to, uh, who wants to box? I was like, me. And he was like, oh, great. But I didn't think he would ever find someone to box me. 
uh, because I'm six six five, like two ninety. You're not going to be boxing a boxer like I'm going to teach you to maul this person. <laughs> it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be ugly. It's not going to look good. It's going to be disgusting. You are going to go over there and you are going to completely maul him and take control of the fight, and it's not going to look like any boxing match anyone has ever seen. <laughs> so. I, I, but, but, but like like this guy you're fighting, I saw you. I saw the tweet you had with the picture of that guy. That's legit. The guy you're fighting. Yeah, that's him. Like uh, obviously, like maybe nine years ago or something. Ah, okay, okay. So there's a lot. Is yeah. there more of him to <laughs> this tuss- tweet? <laughs> is there more of him to tussle with these days? Yeah, if you just if you look up Aaron Game Grumps on Google, you'll see his. You'll just see him. He's like he's like a bigger a bigger guy. You know. Okay. Like big enough, yeah. big like big enough that I shouldn't underestimate him, but yeah. not big enough that uh I would that you're like, afraid to troll rich. him right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do that. I, I want to do that. See, this goes back to Sam Hyde again. Another thing is I was like, Yeah, I've been talking to Aaron, you know, where we said we're gonna troll each other online. And Sam was like, You need to stop texting him immediately. You need to start, <laughs> you need to start dehumanizing this person because you are gonna <laughs> fuck him up. That is not a human. That's not your friend anymore. That's the enemy. And he said, like, he said a bunch of things, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna head down there. Yeah, that's that's what he looks like. I was like, you know what, Sam? I, I'm gonna he head down a bunch there. Of things. He said he said a bunch of things that really like that got me that that made sense. He was like, your energy expenditure in this sparring doesn't make sense. People don't understand what it's like to move someone like yourself like i understand that you are not a dominican janitor you cannot bounce around you don't have that body you can't throw your arms like a little chinese man you're never be athletic harley you're Mm. gonna burn some fuel right you're not a you're not a prius in there you're literally you're gonna run out of gas if you don't preserve your energy Mm -hmm. he's like you're not athletic like that these are not things you can do (laughs) did he he explain to you that you're you're not dominican that whole time (laughs) i was like taking it you know me you know i'm like i'm like like my 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 racist radar is like like, (laughs) did you speaking of like rich youtubers doing crazy shit did you see the guy like jump the tesla he jumped oh uh, on the maybe it was the san francisco street yeah he jumped a tesla like up you know how some hills are in streets, how mm-hmm. like he jumped it with a Tesla going like 120 or something and mm-hmm. like plowed into some innocent people's cars and totaled the Tesla. The jump was outrageous, the amount of air he got. Because you know, those things are like spaceships already. They go so goddamn fast, so quick. He got so much air. It was, I don't oh, know. He really was... didn't build up to it, right? The move was to hit it at 15, to hit it at 25, oh. to see what's what. This guy no, just not. hit it. Okay. 100 miles an hour. I, there, here's the caveat. Maybe I, I hope you don't know. Taylor might like this. It was a rental. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, well, that like, photo on the right is like a UFO. <laughs> it's, it's like people, that is so if, much higher than it was in my memory. You, if he asked you to ride along, would you go? No. I would 100% go. I would Taylor, 100% here's my question. Go. If I bought the insurance before I rented it, how do things work out for me? If you don't show them this photo, you're fine. They know. It <laughs> they, became a big deal. It became a real big deal. It got yeah, kind of, of viral. Of, of oh, course, yeah. They oh, would the know. reason that guy did that is because a YouTuber kind of put him up to it. I don't remember the finer de- details and they're irrelevant. But the individuals whose cars got hit made their own YouTube videos where they're like, hey, I'm not a famous YouTuber or anything, but one was up the street from me last night. And he had some jackass jump a, a, a <laughs> rental Tesla like Batman and right to the back of my Jeep Wrangler. So here I am out of Jeep Wrangler. And it's just like, oh, I think they got in some trouble. I don't know the, what, what ended up happening, but I would absolutely ride shotgun for that because I'm guessing. Is he OK? Is, I bet he's I, I bet he's fine. I'll tell you what I would do. I throw on some some like uh, some catcher knee pads because that's what always gets hurt. You slide, and you hit your knees on the on, on the shit and, and a helmet and you'd be fine. Maybe. I mean, that's Definitely. a lot of air. Oh, I would have gotten more. He kind of pulled it out. He he needed to hit that thing going 100 miles per hour. I don't know how fast he was going, but like, I feel like he could have gotten more air. Like, you're only going to do this once. You are never going to rent a car again after this. There's going to be some kind of a no. alert when you try to rent a car in the future. 
they'd be like, oh, th there'll be a URL with that video attached. <laughs> you try to rent a car. Dude, we used to like sit there on the little system when we were bored and look up oh. celebrities' names and see who was on the D the do not rent list. Look really? at Yeah. Can That's I read cool. this? The rented 2018 Tesla was abandoned at the scene. There is currently no description of the driver, police said. LAPD said the driver, who remains on the loose, will face hit and run charges. There's a thousand dollar reward for anyone who provides information leading to the offender's identification, apprehension, conviction, and resolution through a civil compromise. Jesus fuck! They have a high bar. If I just point at the guy, I want a grand. Don't tell me you need identification, apprehension, conviction, and or resolution. Jesus. But um, they don't know who it is. It's, it, the guy got away with it, it would seem. For now. I, had a, I found a lump the other day, and at my age, everything is, oh, my God, I'm going to die. Mm. And I'm pretty sure Ann can relate to this a bit, but it's like you're scared of everything at this age. And it's Oh, like, yeah, everything happens. It's oh, like everything it's like, aches, this, that, Please, daughter. Thing. Yeah, please get into medicine. Please. You don't know <laughs> I have had people can't see it on the show, but um, under my eyeglasses right here, there's a small cut, and I think I got it by sleeping in my glasses. So you know, so it rubbed mm. and hurt myself. Cool, cool. Why has it taken three months to heal, and oh, it's no. not healed? Is this cancer? Uh, so I, uh, wait, I do have an appointment set up. It's sometime later this month. It's oh, what, we could be eye cancer buddies then. Dude, yeah. I'm rooting for you. This will be a new one. <laughs> no. Yeah. Jesus for, Murphy. For, if you guys don't know, I had I had cancer on my fucking eyelid. And, oh. and, and the first thing they did was they shaved it off because the doc was like, trust me, I know cancer. This is not cancer. Oh, and I'm like, no. and it's incredibly painful to get them to, to sh when they cut it off my eyelid. Like it was top two pa most it painful was things growth. ever. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it was a little mole on my eyelid, like right oh, in the okay. eyelash region. It was like unsightly, and I like immediately. Wow. Went to the and uh, they they shaved this bitch off. They cut it off, and uh, I, I'm all fucked up from it. And uh, they they call me like a week later, and they're like, "Hey, uh, uh, some uh. secretary. Hey, uh, Doctor Mike would like to see you uh, as soon as possible, you know." And I'm just like, uh. "You get Doctor Mike on the phone right now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, "You get Doctor Mike on the phone right now." She's like, "Yeah." He just wants you to come in. I'm like, right now. Uh, on the phone. And and she she like immediately, like two minutes, had Dr. Mike on the phone. And I'm like, hey, doc, uh, your lady says you need to talk to me. We're gonna do it over the phone. He's like, mm. Well, it's cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I know. Because I have because we're inferred. having this weird, awkward conversation. What kind? And so anyway, they're like, what we gotta do is as soon as possible, I want to go back in and I want to take a pizza pie shaped wedge out of your eyelid and th oh. that is going to and then like put it together and then put it together he's like one yeah. problem though it you don't have enough eyelid to do that so we're gonna have to cut you over here and make a big fucking cut so you've got so your whole face can slide over whoa so you need some slack some slack so <laughs> please I, I tell me you were asleep <laughs> i'll get there <laughs> so, uh, 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 so, no. so I was right in the middle of like I just had started TRT and I was lifting every single day. And so when they told me I couldn't eat before I came in, I took that as a suggestion because I got to get my calories. So, <laughs> I, but I get in there, they get me hooked up to the IV or whatever, and uh, that's just and um, they give me a, a pill or two, like some uh, uh, Xanax, like bullshit, like doesn't do anything. I I do real drugs, like like that's. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and I fucked up. And she's like, "When's the last time you ate?" And I'm like, "Ah, by now it's like four hours ago." She's like, "Wait, what?" And so they make me sit in that fucking bed with the IV stuck in my hand for the longest fucking time, like like three hours or something, because I'm a dumbass. Anyway, I get in the surgery room, and no, I'm not a, I'm not a, asleep at all. They put my head in a fucking like vice, like a chiropractor type thing, elevate me. They take a Q-tip, put it under my eyelid, and roll that bitch like Holy inside crap. out. Wrap, and then they uh, he starts injecting my eyelid with painkiller. Oh, okay, and every time Jesus. he sticks that fucking, and I'm not moving a hair, I'm taking it. My my toes are crossed three times in my fucking mm -hmm. shoes because I'm just like in so much pain every time. If he you stabs, did someone something like this to someone at Gitmo, it would be torture. That's torture. Oh, that's that's torture. torture. Yeah. <laughs> I paid eighteen hundred bucks for it. Yeah, yeah, you paid <laughs> like three or four shots, and every Bloody time Americans. he does it, I go, mm. <laughs> he goes, yeah, yeah, not so bad, just a little oh. pinch, and I go, I go, mm. 
<laughs> he gets them all in and then he starts cutting and that fucking hurts too and like That's and the, and like i'm talking to him throughout the whole fucking thing while he's oh, sewing me Jesus. up and like like making this cut over here and i can feel oh. the cold blood like, like oh. a, the, the, or the, like oh. running down my face and like oh, oh get that get that and i'm like <laughs> i'm like this is pretty awesome i can't believe y'all let me be awake for this I had a really page it because it was a thousand. Like, oh, you're awake? You know, <laughs> what? Did, that's what I said. Oh, my God. I said. <laughs> oh, it is. Did you oh my God. More Why didn't they use a general anesthetic for you? Did you save money on this, Kyle? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me tell you how much it costs to have a fucking oh. anesthesiologist come in. It's fifteen hundred extra just for the gas. Why I won't you people get you. health care? Every penny. This was What's wrong and load. with Americans? <laughs> Nowadays, he would have got the... They made it, it sound like a dental appointment. Oh, like, no, like no, we no. had this talk, we had this talk, like, like, and, and I was like, he's like, yeah, it's... I'm like, what's it going to run, Doc? And he's like, I don't know, 1500 to do the thing, and, uh, but it's another 1500 for the anesthesiologist. I'm like, ah, so like, double. He's like, yeah, and I'm like, do we really need it? Do you ever do these without anesthesia? Oh, like, yeah. my God. What a set of <laughs> he chose to do this. Yeah, he, he was down. Do this. I mean, I was part of the negotiation process. He, he ended up knocking a little off at the end, too. I negotiated a little harder. Because <laughs> like with taxes and everything, it was like 2100 wow. Nice yeah, work, Jim Wiki. <laughs> you should Fight on this piece everything. of leather. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pry the bullet out of you. I'll That's bring my own leather doctor. for $10 less. No shit. <laughs> they, <laughs> Have oh, a and snort then, of whiskey. <laughs> and then um, I was supposed to like not drive home, obviously, because I'm all fucked up and shit. Oh, please and, uh, tell me. <laughs> the, the, she wheels me outside and she's like, so your Uber's on the way? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and not only are you fucked up, I would assume there's a patch over your eye. That Big be... patch and bandage. So you're my one whole eyed, face, my fucked whole face. up. I, I like that like... you saved twelve dollars on Uber. <laughs> <laughs> it's the inconvenience. The whole thing is a cost, a cutting method. <laughs> 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 Shit! Don't look Arby. happy. Get done. Don't look happy. There. <laughs> no, you don't look oh, very happy. Oh, Jesus, that's Murphy. cool. That's. That's like That's a, a, one of those things you can level up and get that character. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I, am, I'm an I unlocked guy, the, uh, the eye patch guy. <laughs> Cancer Kyle. No, it oh, fucking blew. God damn, oh, Kyle. God. It fucking right. blew. Have you been watching the uh, the Johnny Depp Amber Heard uh, like trial go on? Oh, I've been I seeing that, terrible yeah. biased headlines. Lay it out for us, Kyle. Well, I can't lay it out per se. I'm I mean, sorry. she's clearly the 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 guilty party here. She's Wait, the one who abused him, and he never did yeah, anything act, at all. Tell, tell me the backstory. Is the backstory like every? I remember everybody was like, "We hate Johnny Depp because he's like a dick." And then like mm -hmm. now there's because I remember that whole bandwagon. And then there's evidence later that like she was actually making it up or something like that. And yeah. Well, he recorded her. Bitch. He recorded her, and she's like, "Yeah, I made it all up." You cracked the code, didn't you, Johnny? You're so smart. You figured it out that it was a big fake. No shit, I made it up. And it's like, they're playing this in court while Johnny Depp sits there like, told you. And then, like, yeah. then, then they play the other take where she's like, I did not punch you, you pussy. I hit you. I hit you, and you took it like you're supposed to. Okay, you were the bigger person, but I was not punching you. I was hitting you. He's like, and you can hear him like, you were hitting me in the face. I had to leave because you were assaulting me. Oh, big baby. <laughs> and it's just like, oh my God, she's the word. And then he describes like the situation where she cut off the tip of his finger. <laughs> yeah, she like threw a bottle at him and yeah, it yeah, snapped like, the tip of his finger. Lost, and, and, and then like in cross-examination, -examina they're like, when you're at the hospital, did you ask for cocaine? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd like, give it a go. A little bit like of a part of that trial at all. <laughs> like, like, so like, what, uh, anyways, the reason why we're here, she cut off my finger. And yes, I wanted cocaine. That has nothing to do with whether you or not mean she did after it. She mutilated me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what is important? Do you see is the order that your finger you have cut your finger off and straight away after telling your doctor that you cut your finger off you are asking for cocaine and ecstasy answer yes that is what it question that is what it looks like answer appears to be and it is entirely possible that i was in the state that i was in 
Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Asking for cocaine. So, we talked about the cocaine and the ecstasy. Let's talk about the, 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 the alter, argument, altercation, that you and Ms. Heard had in Australia. Um, you, you, you testified that you were sitting on a bar stool, right? In, um, in Australia, this is before. You, you, so you're you fast forwarding to the, the end of, the, uh, of that argument. Yeah. We've we've heard we've heard your account of the argument, and the jury will hear Miss Heard's account of the argument. Well, it yeah, seems like, but, but I remember as that oh, was happening the best too. Part. Oh, go ahead. The best part, I guess, like the situation must have been that they were feuding, and maybe she was about to go on some trip. You know, they're cohabitating, and anyway, long story short, she shat in his bed. She took a shit in his bed. A turd oh, was bitch. laid in his bed, and like people came over and they were like, "Oh my God, Amber shit in your bed." And, and they're like, are you sure it's not a dog? And they're like, no, that's people shit. Amber <laughs> did that. And like, and now this is part of the record because like they're going yeah. back and forth. And Amber, I think I didn't see this part of the trial. I'm not sure that it exists, but I was told that there was a part where like she is like, no, that was dog poo. And they're like, absolutely, it was not dog poo. I saw the poo. It did not come out of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed. Um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, it was so outside. It was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. That is such an alpha move to like shit in someone's bed. That is fucking insane. Hats off to her. By the way, at what point uh, during <laughs> like an abusive relationship, like if a woman's like hitting you, cutting off your finger or whatever, like, when can he just be like, yeah, it was at that point where I fucking socked her right in the throat. I hate make her right in the side of the head. Never. Like, at what point does the Never. does the court go like, all right, like she, you have like, uh, you know, documentation that this lady's fucking insane. And we're going to believe that this is probably self-defense. Well, you I think the answer is pretty clear because Johnny never touched her. And yet he is on trial right now. <laughs> is he on I, trial? Yeah, okay, yeah. Is that <laughs> I think it's um, a, I think it's I a defamation which, lawsuit. That's yeah, what they're in yeah. trial with right now. But wow. yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, I still think after he had the mountain of evidence, he should have fucking had one physical retaliation. Like I not only pity you, but I also kind of hate you. I'm like that's. I'm I feeling wanna... a little targeted. <laughs> <laughs> you? Why? Why? Do you walk around with the beatus wounds open and gaping and oozing. I've seen that before. So Zach, put me look. on full screen. Do you have beatus sores? What, what it's here shit? can you see it i'm gonna try and i don't oh you still got okay, that open you have to take your wound camera on your face and like do, do a that. macro shot of the side oh. of your stupid nose do you see it <laughs> yeah i see that open wound on your face that's oh my god yeah, that's something we need I would to put how do you live with yourself how do you leave that's, the house yeah so i would I went see to that from across the walmart parking lot and go oh that guy's got a <laughs> what a ghoul what kind of cancer did you have kyle Oh no! Um, it's with um, so the basal one. Basal cell carcinoma. carcinoma. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like me too. Fuck so. yeah, cancer, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So um, the most easily curable cancer out there for everyone listening. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like, I guess I'll be fine. It's like the recruit I, uh, of cancers. 
certainly <laughs> so, so they uh, they took a biopsy, I guess, and uh, it came back. Do they have to go back in for a little bit more of the tissue? No. So um, what happened is I've I had that sore, right? Yes. And that sore started last year. It's April mm-hmm. recording this. And um, at first, like, I, I kind of thought it was reoccurring because I wear glasses, you know, and, and I just bought like regular glasses I wore all day and I slept in them and got that cut. So I was like, all right, whatevs. And then it's just taking too long to heal. So then I, after a month of not healing, I start going hardcore on never wearing glasses. If at all possible, I drive without sunglasses only on this show five hours a week. I wear glasses the rest of the time I'm in heal mode. And then I started putting this, like uh, it's not Neosporin, but like imagine a prescription industrial strength. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that seemed to help a little, but you know, a month of that and it's not getting better. So then I call a dermatologist and of course it takes a month to see them. And she's uh, looking at the pearly edges of it. And she's like, I think you've got cancer. That's why it's not healing. So um, I'm going to go to a plastic surgeon where he'll cut it out and put it back together. And uh, then, th- then we'll know for sure. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, um, hopefully it's like, luckily, like I said, you know, that's couldn't be much better. Um, as far as like the type, right? You know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, it should be fine. It's yeah. it's it's the best cancer. I you know I wouldn't fuck around with but, some fucking osteosarcoma. Like <laughs> I don't I don't know what that is. That I only do scary, good though. cancers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's I don't know my cancers. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. It is scary, huh? Yeah. So I, I guess I'll take care of it next week. If you want the answer, uh. Yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. I, I, you know, I don't like know what else to say. That's just the most honest answer. I wonder what Ice Poseidon's up to nowadays. He invented the RV concept. Yeah, I think he just he got in trouble because he did that pump and dump. What are you with, talking about? Uh, I, I need to get in touch with him about... about um... That money I sent him for for our crypto. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him thirteen grand, and he said I was going to double it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so. He's probably, I don't know, mitigating that, trying to balance it out with starting streaming again. I can't imagine his community is going to be like cool with him ever again. If because we we watched that clip of him talking about it, right? Like we all did. Where they were like, so let me help you. Let me help me understand, Ice. What you did is you pushed it, and then when it hit a mass that you could make money. You pulled the funding stock out and that was it. And you made your money. And he's like, that's correct. Like, and it's like, yes. so you pumped it and then you dumped it. And he's like, strictly speaking, that is correct. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I don't really like how you're like phrasing it exactly the way it happened. But legally speaking, <laughs> yes, it is a pump and dump. Yeah. <laughs> it was called rugging it. He pulled the rug out. Remember that? Yeah. And um, yeah, now you're like, I can't imagine his community will ever be cool with him again. Dude, his community has come back to him a couple times already. Like, I guess they hated his girlfriend, so he just pretended to dump her and continued to date her along, like for That's months. Such a no I big thought deal she compared was, to I this. Thought, this is like robbing people, it, knowingly taking, knowingly telling someone to invest in something that you know will lose them every penny that they put into it. Knowingly well, doing that to someone is beyond shitty. It's just like getting donations. Not at all. Fuck him. No. <laughs> no all right. It, it's like getting donations to start a company that, and that and then but don't worry, you're all gonna get like the profits when the company gets off the ground. Like like they invested. He and, said that the people who bought these things knew how to lose money already. That well, they were all in, <laughs> as all investors do. Mm-hmm. As all investors do. I don't know. I, like I'm genuinely interested in the psychology behind it because I feel like this is almost an acceptable relationship with his subs. Like, yeah, I'm, I am here to make money off of you people and I do it any way that I can. I I will tell lies. I will run scams. Welcome to the show. Is that not the show? No, I I don't watch him, but like, it's definitely different. Like, he if didn't worry they wouldn't I, there's no way he went into that thinking this is going to be a great opportunity this is going to be its own currency lots of people are going to make money a rising tide raises all ships we're all going to make out like bandits like no he clearly didn't do that he went into it 
And there's video of him talking about this too. Like some other guy, like Sam Pepper, did the same thing. And they like were talking about it in like a way of adulation. Like, man, what do you think he's doing now? He got his two million or so and he's out, man. They're like, wow, I wish someday I could rob people or scam them. Mm-hmm. It's not robbing. I wish I could scam people the way he did. Well, that guy was a scammer for the yeah. ages. Because uh, apparently I scam for like, I, uh, if my number's not perfect, it's close. Like 350000 400000 something like that. Yeah. But Sam Pepper scammed for a couple of million. And they were just really admiring how effective that scam was. Yeah. So he just copied what someone else did after explicitly spelling out that he wanted to do something similar. And then he did it. I don't, li- I don't like how people are talking about what I did in exactly the terms and way that I did it. Um, You know. I'm going to, it's like, what, what the fuck, dude? Like, no, that shit is so fucked up to, to, I don't He's know. That, that, that gets in my craw. I don't like that. Like huh. tricking people that have been supporting you, you know, like they're the reason that he's not working at Subway. 100%. They're the reason he's not making sandwiches at Subway. LA Fitness, but yeah. LA Fitness, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then to like turn around and just full throatedly say, fuck you. Like I'm gonna take your money and I'm gonna dump it and pull the rug and then yeah, I'm and gonna I think that there's this like fa- I think there's this like I don't want to call it a false narrative. There's this perception that everyone who got involved were his core group of guys who normally watch him okay. and operate a robot with a knife on it, and they know who Ice Poseidon is, and they know his alter ego, and they knew his ex girlfriend, and they knew the shit he's done in the past. But of course, there are those, but then I they're they're like levels that extend out from beyond that with less and less familiarity uh, familiarity with him and his product and his persona and the show Mm -hmm. and those people certainly plenty of them got swiped uh got got, uh, swooped up in like the mania that may have been artificially created by him and Mm -hmm. and look from what i've been told he made restitution to quite a few people like he sent money back did he send it all back i haven't heard that but I was told he sent amounts of money back that would have been difficult for anyone to send back tens mm-hmm. of thousands of dollars. And that to me demonstrates that like, there's something there because if, if you're doing this as a villain, who's like, I got it all and I'm heading for the Hills. You don't give a penny back. I talked about this the other day. I, I think that like Dimitri would be uh, pro Ukrainian. I think now if, if I had my way, that's how I would like do it. But if I had my druthers, he would be a hundred percent pro Russian because like that was one of the ways like early on, that was one of the ways that I trolled people to try to get like more viewership. I was like, it's great to like make the best content you have and have people enjoy that content. But if you can have like some people who just despise you for a silly reason, that's great too. Like you don't want them to actually hate you for you, but if you, but, but like if you do something silly that they hate, that's perfect. So like my, mm. my whole YouTube background was like Stalin and the Soviet flag. <laughs> and so the comments would be like, he killed 20 million of my countrymen. He's worse than Hitler. You know, the whole thing. Yeah, it's great. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah, just Soviet Union shirt. Uh-huh. It's great. I liked yeah. it when you um, trolled the guns. Like, he started as a Call of Duty player, FPS Russia. And you would only use Russian guns. You would make fun of these like American plastic toys. Yeah. That, that worked for me. I remember that. Yeah. The dual com with you guys where you're like, I, I noticed you're using the AK. Why not the M6? Because like it was actually a commentary about Call of Duty at the time. Like, why not use the M16? Because it is gay or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck he said. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Probably something awful like that. Yeah. <laughs> no but i mean if, if it happened and you were still fps russia you would have to i mean you would lose your channel if you did but like you think? if you had some sort of like immunity just leaning into it and pretending to be pro russia would be the character you oh would. you could like you that could, would be what dimitri actually did yeah you could you get that trolling that um issue would be like, like i don't think you get away with it but no. um for obvious reasons it's a it's a pretty sensitive thing mm-hmm. you know there's women and children being murdered and genocided over there so not the best thing to take make light of however mm-hmm. that's exactly what that character would need to do with, with yeah. a scenario <laughs> like that unfortunately i mean i was always doing that right like when osama bin laden got killed i immediately bought an osama bin laden poster in there and made the title of the video osama bin laden shot <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so that i fit in with like nbc and cbn and vox news and everybody else's bit. and of course i used the close-up of my target which is like his like interpol photograph 
you know, so it was pretty official. And like, but the thing about it was you didn't show up and you're going like, you're like, ah, oh, fuck this nonsense. It was a trick. You're like, wait, what is this? <laughs> I was talking to my dad about Waco the other day. Uh, like, like, I don't think that those people were doing anything wrong in there. You know, the government story, we believed it back then because everybody believed it when the government said somebody was a pedophile. But like, <laughs> they were like, yeah, there's a comp, there's this compound full of pedophiles. They don't want to pay their taxes, and we're gonna go get them. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what? Well, they've got yeah. that was a weird like when I, I never really cared it that much, but cult, I looked into right? it and it looked ridiculous. Um, so they, they called it. A cult, it was a religion. I don't know. It was uh, the Branch Davidians uh, or the Church. Oh they, yeah, that's a cult. Yeah. yeah. Oh come well, on. <laughs> kind of. What was the name of your church, Taylor? The Branch Davidians. <laughs> That's how I know I'm an inside man. <laughs> they did have an inside man that ratted him out, um, who actually went back later and said he regretted doing it uh, in the court case that followed. Um, I've considered doing a Waco video for a long time now. Um, I just I have to get my language right because it's real easy for me to get fired up about stuff like that. So I just yeah. gotta like tame myself as I go into it. Um, uh, yeah. Easy for you to fly too close to the Instead sun. Of very up, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Do, uh, Way too close, close to the might sun. Might get a little too real. Do, uh, <laughs> and, and if you don't, if you want one that's more cut and dry, though, you could just do Ruby Ridge. Um, that that's, yeah. Oh, that's oh boy, will I? <laughs> Are you working yeah. on a Ruby Ridge video? Um, I, I'm not gonna do a Waco video without bringing up Ruby Ridge. Um, because it's the it was the same negotiation team at both. So great, great job, guys. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. They, yep, they got to keep their job. Yeah, they got promoted. Uh, as a matter of fact, the guy who was the uh, not the lead negotiator, the lead of the fire team at Waco, was given a promotion to captain, I believe, after the events of Waco. Oh, that seems he was well viewed, yeah. He was viewed in the media as taking down a dangerous group of uh, radicals, uh, yeah. even though <sighs> the everyone who was on the ground said that he had actually killed, what was it, 82 children? Uh, yeah, like something that. along those lines. And he got a star pinned on his chest. And everyone said that they didn't know that years since and regretted it. However, there are pictures of them posing with their rifles next to the bodies of children. Uh, so don't think they exactly cared that much. Um, yeah, Like I said, see, it's easy for me to do that. <laughs> and get no, I, that those children could have been I'm enemy done. combatants. They could they could have, you know. They had little stuff. guns. <laughs> <laughs> little right. guns and little, little grenades. Well, look, at the, Mini look at this skeleton. He's clearly armed. Zap. <laughs> Nerfs of now, mass destruction. One of the wildest things from that footage from uh, from the the Waco thing is there's an FBI agent, maybe two, on a on like a landing. They're like they've gone up one floor up a ladder, and they're on this landing. And now there's like a, a wall with that's the second floor with windows, mm -hmm. and they've got guns. And I think he got, they got, he's got an MP5. I think I remember in his hand. And all of a sudden, machine gun fire comes from inside through the wall and you can see the hmm. bullet holes coming out and you know and in, in the movie in the movies they'll like kind of circle in a door but like you can't really do that and most of the time and I, I i know i did it but like like uh, you can't normally do that <laughs> like, 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 but you weren't about to commit an atrocity yeah <laughs> but this guy from the inside is like and you see the bullets pop 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 and the fbi guy is like down and rolling and he does not care that he's a floor up and and i you can imagine if you're getting shot at and you're 12 feet off the ground, you're like, the ground is not, I would love to eat some ground right now. So yeah. you just, you just right off the roof of that building. But I'd never, that's some shit that I've only ever seen in movies. You know, that, that, that it's a trope where the bullet holes come through the wall in sequence mm -hmm. in this perfect line, but they did it. It was wild. It had to be an AK or something like that in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, I I know a guy who runs a merch store who a merch store and one of the pictures he has on the merch store is the ATF agent falling off the roof holding his chest and it says have a nice day across it. Um but <laughs> yeah, that like there's I get so five dollars every one. Wow. <laughs> That's so insensitive to members of the ATF. Yeah, who, you know, who the, we the all love established people. Oh, speaking of Ruby Ridge, the only person, uh, the only <laughs> ATF agent who was convicted or any investigation who was done during that time was the sniper who took the shot that killed Vicki Weaver. Um, he was being charged by the state of Idaho and the fed said, this is our case. We'll deal with it. So they picked it up. And then as soon as Idaho dropped their case, the feds dropped their case and he was never charged or given anything. So Ugh. funny how that works. Yeah. It's pretty gross. 
And thank you, Harley, for taking a break from your difficult media regimen, being the new heavyweight <laughs> champ of the iDubs competition. <laughs> Join us. I paid for the fight and, <laughs> and, and watched it, and you humiliated that guy. I want to oh. ask you a lot about it. You embarrassed him. Oh, go ahead. Harley's coming in very quiet. Oh, hello. Is that better? That's yeah, better. now yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah, I was going to say, you stole from a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to hell. <laughs> your bank account. <laughs> they did, you know, they did have everything up there right away. Like, I, when the match was done, I was like, what happened here? I wonder if it's on YouTube. I searched it up. I'm like, oh, everything's here. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Everything's here. there on YouTube. Yeah, it was all there. Um, yeah, yeah, I really I had to claw my way to victory. Uh, my opponent was definitely... Uh, far more skilled and stronger and larger than I was. Uh, yeah. Next creator clash, they promised me someone smaller and who uh, boxed less. Less. So <laughs> that's, that's more fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, th the truth is actually, I, I always think about it. I was like, you know, a part of me wishes that I could have been in Aaron's position to be like, I don't give a fuck. I'll fight that big dumbass. Cause I watched <laughs> stuff on like his, on game grounds. He was like, I'm not going to lose to fucking Harley. And I was like, man, I wish, cause I'm not, I wish my balls were that big. Like, because okay. the difference in size would have been me fighting someone who's like 6'10 and 325 pounds. So that's like the mountain <laughs> yeah. from Game of Thrones. And there's no way, like, I'm like, I'm not going to lose to the mountain from Game of Thrones. <laughs> but like, Aaron did that to me. And like, truth is, he went in there and he like came at me like a man. And he was pretty he sick. He was six. I didn't, I don't think it like that he was humiliated you mean at he was all. Ill? Like, like, but I, I do think he was what, mentally ill. No, you said he was sick, and I, you know, I'm old. There's, I mean, it has so many meanings now. Oh, I meant yeah. like, nah, he was like sick, bro. Like sick kickflip. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like that you said ill. I was like mentally ill. I questioned it. <laughs> so, leading up to it, I, I was like tripping. You know, I was like, yo, this guy's obviously secretly been boxing for five years, or mm -hmm. he's fucking crazy. Because he uh. was literally like, he was all about it. He was like, they told me, they were like, yeah, Aaron, no, Aaron wanted you. Like Aaron, Aaron was down. He was like seriously about it. You know, I mean, like, his I, eyes were too big for his stomach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All that's true. Harley beat him soundly, but but at like you know what I think he is, I think he's brave, and, yeah. and like I kind of tip the hat to that guy. Like he, dude, I don't want to get in the boxing ring with you. You're ginormous. You it, know, like there it, was, it, there was, it'd the be a rough that... day. I sent this to you guys. I know what he saw it, but it's that, it's that thing from the Johnny Depp uh, trial where he had like texted one of his friends for like proof against her and he wrote this paragraph <laughs> to his friend where he's talking so it's uh, I, johnny I, depp wrote this paragraph yes and the and the lawyer reads it out verbatim in court and it's so mean and filthy and hilarious <laughs> i got i'm gonna find it i'm gonna i gotta dude read. it's great yeah like, like is he totally uh, vindicated now in there uh it, this i think that this little thing i saw is part of a larger thing that makes johnny depp look pretty imperfect <laughs> mm -hmm. but he's so charismatic and he owns it do, do you want to play this let's play it oh i'd love to play it mr depp you sent this text to christian carino on it uh, august 15th i most certainly did okay and in this text that you sent to chris you know christian carino is the person who used to be amber's agent and then was your agent for a time correct that is correct. And in this text, Mr. Depp, you said she's begging for total global humiliation. She's going to get it. I'm going to need your texts about San Francisco, brother. I'm even sorry to ask, but she sucked Mollusk's crooked dick and he gave her some shitty lawyers. I have no mercy, no fear, and not an ounce of emotion or what I once thought was love for this gold digging, low level, dime a dozen, mushy, pointless, dangling, overused, flappy fish market. I'm so fucking happy she wants to go to fight this out. She will hit the wall hard. And I cannot wait to have this waste of a cum guzzler out of my life. I met a fucking sublime little Russian here, which made me realize the time I blew on that 50 cent stripper. I wouldn't touch her with a goddamn glove. I can only hope that karma kicks in and takes the gift of breath from her. Sorry, man, but now I will stop at nothing. Let's see if Mollusk has a pair. Come see me face to face. I'll show him things he's never seen before. 
like the other side of his dick when I slice it off. Did I read that right? You did. I, I was gonna. I was. I was looking for a link for the text. I was gonna read it, but um, oh, that that'd be good too. That would be so even better than that. Let's Johnny all Johnny close Depp. our eyes and imagine it. Yeah, uh, the best Johnny Depp impression here. Probably Taylor. I don't read know it in his voice. Like. What does he sound like? I only know he uh, he was He's like very like, soft spoken in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Damn, I guess. I, I always thought I liked Johnny Depp. I guess I don't know a lot of what movies he's in. <laughs> I liked him in Pirates of the Caribbean when I was in high school and those were coming out. Okay, I've got it. <clears throat> um, and I believe, again, this is Johnny Depp like texting his friend because I think he needs some like text messages from him um, to help him during this whole debacle. Um, she's begging for total global humiliation. She's going to get it. I'm going to need your texts about San Francisco, brother. I'm even sorry to ask, but she sucked Mollusk's crooked dick and he gave her some shitty lawyers. I have no mercy, no fear, and not an ounce of emotion or what I once thought was love for this gold digging, low level, dime a dozen, mushy, pointless, dangling, overused, flappy fish market. I'm so <laughs> fucking happy she wants to go to fight this out. She will hit the wall hard. And I cannot wait to have this waste of a cum guzzler out of my life. <laughs> I met a fucking sublime little Russian here, which made me realize the time <laughs> I blew on that 50 cent stripper. I wouldn't touch her with a goddamn glove. I can only <laughs> hope that karma kicks in and takes the gift of breath from her. Sorry, man, but now I will stop at nothing. Let's see if Mollusk has a pair. Come see me face to face. I'll show him things he's never seen before, like the other side of his dick when I slice it off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the re the end? That's it. Oh, oh well, the, end, the end is Mr. Depp is is that accurate? And he goes, Yeah, that's pretty much right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Johnny Depp does shit like he congratulates them for Let's reading well. Like, did you call him a crooked cum guzzler? And he's like, Yes, that was well read. It, like, like, <laughs> it kills me. Well, he's a, he's a charismatic, <laughs> likable guy, and that paragraph makes me like him so much more because so that's, more. that's I mean, funnier I than be I thought damning, he was. But that well. actually wasn't that bad at all. Like that no, was no, no. It was no, clear no. he was very pissed off at this woman, but like yeah. all, and, all and all. the best part, she has he's sprinkling to, jokes into it. He's not she's, furious. She's sitting there. The camera's on her while this is being read. <laughs> 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 like calling her a flappy fish market or whatever and uh <laughs> no i don't know a lot about johnny depp's personal life because i think he's always kept that very private he seems like a, a real private soft-spoken kind of dude I, it seems like what he's really into is like getting real high with his buddies who are like his age group fucking women and yeah. uh and, and like music and and you know art and stuff like like every time they they um I, I've learned more about it from this thing because obviously they're calling character witnesses, right? People who are like forced now to testify. What's Johnny Depp like? And the one that really stuck with me was that artist who like w was selling art on eBay for like a hundred, two hundred dollars a painting. And Johnny Depp was like, I don't want to buy any of your art. I want to put you in an art studio so that you can create art. And, 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 and I'm going to put you in the studio and I want you to, to start creating art. And I'm going to start putting together an art show for you with all of my rich friends. And when you've got enough art to do a full show, living in my art studio, like being supported by me, then we will take that art and you will sell that art to all my rich friends and you will keep all the money. How does that sound? And they were like, did you take the deal? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you don't understand like the building. This is like art deco, right? This is like <laughs> lately. Like, like, <laughs> this guy starts describing like how pimped out this place Johnny Depp has put him in. He's like, you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> and like, like, I don't know. Every time I and I see him like dressed up in the fucking pirates thing with those like sick kids and stuff. And sometimes you see that when someone has like gotten in trouble. But Johnny's never been in trouble. Like this is the first time we've ever heard anything any sort of nonsense like this. They they brought up that Kate Moss thing, and his lawyer was like. Yes, she brought it up. Now we get to address it because, like, even I don't that know what the Kate Moss thing is. I, I think that um, uh, Amber Heard was suggesting that maybe Johnny had pushed uh, a, a model named Kate Moss down some stairs at one point years back. 
but her bringing that up like opened that up to like cross examination or something however the silly rules of court work it's been really fun you guys follow um i feel bad for bringing them up do you guys follow any of a dsp story i know dark side phil as a character but i don't oh, really know shit. anything about him if this is like a I'm actually envious of all three of you because you, there's so much you get to explore. If you're looking, he's like a Wings of Redemption type character, I guess. Just mm-hmm. there's no such. There's only one of those. Let's. let's oh let's no, 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 no! Give, give him a chance. Maybe you'll like it. <laughs> let me see if I let me see if I get a crowning achievement here. Let's see one of the one of the <laughs> one of the larger events in his life. Okay. Yeah. This guy, fuck. There he has the most dedicated anti fans in the world. They have their own name. They're like the Sons of Kojima. They have their own name for how organized they are. They are the fans. Sons of Kojima. They are the Sons of Kojima. Okay. Um, and they just hate him so much. They right? hate him so much. Oh God, there are so many things. So this guy actually was able to one of the one of this is one of many events in his life. He was able to. That's a badass he, name. Yeah, he <laughs> gambles away. So he gambles away a lot of his money in these gacha games, I guess, like WWE champions, and people can like see his account publicly and everything. He he makes like just the worst financial decisions time and time and time and time and time. He has like a condo in another state that he can't afford, but he doesn't want to rent it to anybody because he feels bad about it, but he doesn't want to sell it because he feels bad about it. And then he rents in another state and he raises money for it and talks about how he needs to pay off type. Blah, blah. So he goes through all these financial hardships, leases like a new BMW and says he got a great deal on it because the salesman told him it was a great deal. It's like more and more. This motherfucker, okay, actually manages to file bankruptcy, discharges all of his debt, and keeps all of his like video game systems and everything by saying that they are like essential parts of his business, a- essential parts of his business. As he's going through the bankruptcy proceedings, all of his anti fans are losing it because they're like, we're not going to let him get away with it. We can't let him get away with this. It's not possible. And while they're doing the, because I think this is during COVID time. So they're doing some of the bankruptcy stuff on the phone, like or on Zoom, I think. Some of his anti fans are calling in, <laughs> pretending to be um, creditors. <laughs> <laughs> asking him about his purchases and stuff on the phone. <laughs> so they're releasing these logs of them calling in and it's like phil are you, is it true that you and this lawyer's trying to be like i don't know if he's supposed to answer that question and the judge is like i don't know what this guy's trying and yeah it just but he actually managed to do it he went through the bankruptcy he got rid of like over a hundred thousand dollars of debt people saw all of his credit cards were maxed and then he's like right back to where it was before so he's doing like um i think like a week ago he did a stream he was like guys youtube made it so you could gift subs now, a thousand of you gifted subs, and I'm happy for that. You guys need to know that if you're not tipping, I don't get that sub money for a month or two. I need the tips because I need the money now. <laughs> and so he has seeing, like a cash flow problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I need the cash. And people are seeing every day him getting these new WWE champions. I think somebody mathed out that he was spending, it was like four figures a month on this like gamble game while he's like fresh out of bankruptcy. <laughs> just, that, right. just, that's just like a take. That guy, he has a very, very interesting okay, life. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, he sounds where, where do I go redemption-esque. Okay. But I'm going to need to know about side characters, the family, <laughs> how much incest, give or take, we're talking. I need to know. I mean, how much does Dark Side Phil weigh? We talk, is he over 300 pounds? No, he's not that big. He's not. That okay, big. so there's a lot more of Wings of Redemption. No, he's, he's not big enough to, to make fun of. He can't fill Wings. <laughs> he couldn't fill Wings pants. I know that. He absolutely couldn't. None of us can fill Wings feet, pants. Though. I mean, like the uh, the other ways we ordered was like me and Kyle walking into that place high out of our mind. I remember walking into that Applebee's and thinking I'm so high I can barely function and then walking next to my buddy Kyle and him being even higher than me and being like, okay, I'm going to be okay. I was and so then we got in there and and Kitty, like I've, I've said this before about her. Kitty is a god. Kitty is a ordering, guardian. Ordering. Kitty is a guardian. That's a great way to put it. She <laughs> got in there and she immediately went, we will, ha- we will have two of every appetizer. Perfect. That's what everyone needed. <laughs> there it. was no way one order of skins was going to get around that table. We needed two <laughs> orders of skins for everyone to get one. And it was, it was tremendous. That, that was the night that we were sitting down and me and T-Mart were sitting next to each other. We were very, very young at the time. I was, I was 19. He was 18 or whatever it was. And we were like, Hey, let's give each other our, let's give each other our phones and we'll tweet from each other's phone. And like, I was baked out of my mind. I thought it was like really (laughs) funny. And so I I just tweeted from, I tweeted from his account. I was like, I'm high out of my mind at the Logan Steakhouse, wherever the fuck we were, Applebee's. I'm like, high out of my mind at Applebee's. And I, and, I, and I tweeted that. On and T. He Martin's tweeted Twitter. And like on T. Martin's Twitter. And he had my Twitter, which was like way more accustomed to nonsense. And he had, he said something like super friendly, like, 
we're here having fun with friends, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> like we handed like, it back like, to each other. Like family, <laughs> friends, and to God forever. Family, friends, and God forever. And then like and we then, handed it back I, to each other. Bart's mom follows him on. Yeah. I remember that. I remember oh, handing yeah, it back right to him there, and him like right there. <laughs> so that's happening at their end of the table. All right. <laughs> on my end of the table. This is dawning on us a little slow. News travels very slowly across the yes. stone table. Mm. Me, uh, Kelly, and uh, White Boy are down here in our little group, and we look up, and, and I think I think Alex White Boy is the one who was like, "Is is a uh, is T Martin crying?" <laughs> and I went, "Shit, man, what the fuck happened down there? T Martin's fucking <laughs> crying, dog." I was like, "Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, Kelly look." T Martin's crying. I was like, maybe there's a jump. No, no, those are real tears. He's crying, huh? Like, and then like, I'm like, hey, why is T Martin crying? I don't know who was next to me. I wish I could remember because they were both to my left. But like, word got down to us that Taylor had gotten a hold of T Martin's Twitter. <laughs> I he he said it would be a funny idea, and I went went funny with it. And then he didn't go funny with it. And then I handed him his phone back and he saw what I tweeted from his account. And he was like, oh, my God, my mom follows this. Dude, was he was like, like hey, chill out, man. And like I saw my account. He was like 15 or something. Like, no, no he was, he was 17. All right. Because okay, we're okay. the same age. But it doesn't matter. He was like the most business centric of all of us. So he was like, I'm never going to be able to lease a home. <laughs> like, like you would just ruin his like homeland ownership vibe. Yeah. It was so good. No, that was funny as fuck. I'd like, like to get uh, him back on the show. Yeah. I think he, uh, I think he doesn't him. want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he would. But yeah. I, I, I don't like know. T-Mart. It can't hurt to ask, you know? T-Mart, shout out to T-Mart. I'm sorry about doing that with your phone. I thought it would be funny at the time. Should have gave me gave me your phone. And just, in retrospect, something. it was funny both at the time and now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I bet right so now I'm not. Hard. I'm, I'm right. not sorry. So I'm not bitch. sorry too much. And, and and like I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, like not to throw anybody under the bus or anything because like it's just <laughs> people react the way they react and like like Taylor fucked up in that moment. It was like super shitty what Taylor did. I thought real. it was funny and like a silly little thing. But it's thing funny because, that it all in, played in, in out my that head, way. I was no, like, no, no. if but, I were to tweet this from my account, I wouldn't care. It wouldn't bother me. Like I, I thought I was being. But what silly. was great? What was great is Woody let Taylor know. That it was a real shitty thing that he had done. Dude, I, yeah. What he did, what he, he did let me know, and I remember being like, "I just thought I was memeing, man. Like, <laughs> I thought like, I was being a silly jokester. That's kind of my <laughs> mo. A real like, rap scallion, you know. Somehow, a real, a real no somehow, good Nick. <laughs> somehow Taylor ended up down there with Woody and Kitty. Not that they're not fun, but they're not stoned. <laughs> and and so like now i was probably more here's... judgmental at the time than i am today ah fuck it no they, they, we were... it doesn't matter. look guys everybody's at water under the bridge you know we're all we're all yeah. doing great I don't give a shit what anybody you thinks. guys got podcasts <laughs> t martin's got lawsuits we're all here <laughs> Wait, he does? no no i was making a Settled csgo those. lot of jokes ah uh, yeah 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 those. i don't know i don't think what i did was nearly as bad as baiting miners in the beginning <laughs> That is definitely not, not coming, coming back now. Dude, I, I bet he would come on and talk about it. I know he would come on and talk. After yeah. the show. You want to bet? He, yes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm right. Uh, he, so he, I don't know how I, I don't know how well how 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 he would uh fall on this one, you know? T Martin and I are friends. Uh, we don't talk all the time or anything, but I still consider him my friend. Yeah, and, we're so uh, buds. You can't he, you can't you can't friendship bait him into the podcast. <laughs> Let me finish my thought here. So after the podcast, he texted me and he was like, hey, man, that was fun. I enjoyed this or that. And uh, I think he wished that I brought up the CSGO stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is, I was thinking of it, too. I wasn't sure how it would go. This is how I would have done it. And he's like, that would be perfect. So that's why I come from it from this. Yeah. Like, yeah, he he Oh, so it. you just pander to him. Not yeah. exactly. No, no, the opposite of that. No, look, I would look, too. I like. Tim Martin's my friend. I would support him. But, I, yeah, I'm uh, in his camp. You know, like I, I'm just yeah, I'm yeah, trying yeah. to. I'm stoking the flames. I lost look, eight thousand those... dollars gambling on those CS:GO skins. I'll I'll have you know, and I, I haven't gotten over it yet. <laughs> All that iDubs footage, and as I watch it, I feel like I'm in the shoes of iDubs, <coughs> and 
I would have fallen for every one of those pranks. I would have been your <laughs> sucker, your bitch. I, I would have, I would have not fared well in I Dub situation. The the reveal that that wasn't your real girlfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, man! <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> That, that was, was the, the funniest, best part. That was the funniest thing. <laughs> that was yeah. the best part. <laughs> something about I think there were like a handful of wasps dead on the table. Like something about that. Like like even though I don't even think I think I saw them. Just the idea that there were dead wasps about was 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 yeah. really good. Was really good to me. I that liked really how like me reparted up. so much of the ideas were. Where it's like, how about this, Jack? Ball bearings <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's perfect. You get something so fucking stupid. But like, yeah, I, I think you're right. Like. Do you think that iDubs had to like change the direction of his documentary as it was going because he realized the kind of sandbag attempt wasn't going to work it, or it wasn't going to show right? I think in for him, he was um, – look, this is not a nice thing to say about somebody, but I know, I know what he – I know what he's – I know what wheels were turning in his little mind uh, the first second that he contacted me because he was getting – he was getting a lot of shit – from 4chan people, poll people, because he's his girlfriend is a whore. <laughs> I look, whatever, okay? Sometimes you just have to get pussy. I don't know, whatever. Mm -hmm. All right. But he was getting he was getting a lot of shit. And in his mind, what he was thinking was, I can't punk the entirety of 4chan. I can't go punk the entirety of poll. So what I'll do is I'll take the guy that's posted there, that's the mo like, the, the, often posted there, I'll punk him, and by proxy, I'll show all these little nerds that I'm not a cuck, I'm the guy <laughs> with the hot girlfriend, and I always get one over on people. Like, I know- the smartest I know, guy in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he, he even said to uh, one of my crew members, o overheard him saying during the shoot, he said, um, I'm usually the puppet master in the, these types <laughs> of situations. Which is just like it's just like a mentally sick thing to Wait, say. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. He said, "I'm usually the puppet man." That's like a sociopathic yes. way to see the world. All the interactions you have are puppeteering. That's it's men Bizarre. mental mental sickness, and it's something. It's like a he's got the. I want to cure him. I want to make him better. He's got this weird little weaselly thing where he's like, in his in his mind, he's always running the calculation of like who looks better or some shit like that. Like who. Who's on top right now in this situation? It's like a very, uh, I mean, it's a very content creator mindset to have, but mm -hmm. it's something you, you don't want to be thinking shit like that. Well, you really put him out of his comfort zone, which is like the perfect way to throw water on something mm -hmm. like that. Because mm -hmm. like everything that you did with him was like, he was just like, wait, what am I doing? Like the yeah. guns and stuff. Like, like that wasn't his shit. That was, that yeah, was fun yeah. to see. Yeah. I enjoyed I, it. I, I watched both videos. I um, see all the stuff about iDubs on there. You're trying to keep, you want to save him. You want to redeem him. I think you want to get that redeemed, that Yoko yeah. Ono, as you've said, out of his life. What's your plan to? Because I remember <laughs> Idub's content cop and how funny he was, and and how good those videos were. Those were hilarious. And he was, he really like, it's a common saying, but like, he really is like pulling the ladder up after himself. Where he's like, I got wildly popular with edgy stuff that is not chill by 2022 yeah. standards. But you apologize for it. You don't do that. And it's like, well, that's how you got six million subs, dude. Like, yeah. that's how you got where you are. I think what he needs, what he really needs is to ditch that fucking bitch that he's with. Unfortunately. What is the backstory uh, to this girl? We've heard, we've heard a couple of. Uh, uh, yeah. What's so bad about frankly, his, his I don't things. even. What I've. <laughs> doesn't so, seem like, really like if I overstepped with that. <laughs> what I've seen, what I've seen and what I've heard from other people is that she is almost like his handler. So when, when he's when he's oh. talking to people backstage at the creator clash, when he's telling my crew that, that I'm kicked out, that I can't come, all that stuff, he's kind of sitting back like in the background, like approving of, of certain things that are said or just sort of sitting there. And Anissa is uh, the one that's doing all the talking. Oh, there she oh, that's is right okay. there. What a peach. What a sweet <laughs> actually, little peach. Actually, I don't know. You say <laughs> so, she's a whore? Uh, well, she's got an OnlyFans, so she's kind of, yeah. I'm just saying, you know. How much? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's look it up. I have prices and pictures of what I need to know, and we're halfway there. <laughs> it just went up like $500 because we, we did this. No, guys, no, not that. We need to get people to buy cum pills and, and wheat gummies first. Don't be sipping through that clown-faced woman by our cum pills. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's what I've heard um, anecdotally is that she's 
she's the one who does the talking in this okay. relationship, which so is, is kind of like, like kind of strange because she's not famous. She's just she's famous for being Idubs' girlfriend. What the fuck does she have an opinion about? And I've heard from her family that she's weird too. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't I don't want I don't want I'm not going to talk about that because her the person that contacted me <laughs> is nice. But she's like a freak. <laughs> <laughs> just just chatting with her family. Just, yeah, yeah. I heard from her family she's weird, but I'm not allowed to go any more into that. <laughs> yeah, she is she is weird. That's weird. <laughs> what an audacious statement. <laughs> I heard from her family she's weird. Well, why do you have it out for her though? It seems like your battle's really for him. Or do you I, think that she is the puppet master? She is like you remember you remember Master Blaster from uh, Mad Max Thunderdome? Yes. She's like a little midget. That's the, the situation we have we have here, <laughs> Kyle. That's the situation exactly. Master blaster scenario. Is a master blaster scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a master blaster scenario, but it sounds important. We well, you have it. a little midget, uh, you know, high thinking on top of a large oafish like uh retarded man. Oh, and, okay. and 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 master is the little guy and blaster is the big guy, and he sort of operates him like a giant tank. They're very close. Very close. Mm-hmm. That sounds fun. Deadly in the arena. They're, they're twain, as sticks hex as sticks hex and hammer six 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 would say. A unit. They're twain. Yeah. <laughs> they're twain. What the fuck does that mean? It's just don't. It doesn't. There even you matter. go. There's the master blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you know that's what? An, I, that's Anissa on top, and that's I Dubs in the mask. Bio, <laughs> Bioshock completely ripped us off. You see that, mm, right? I do. So it seems like you think that she's holding him back from his full funny potential because you know he's a very funny guy who has very funny ideas like he is. He knows how to write skits, how to produce. He's a talented dude. He's good I looking. Think she's, she's made him into a. F- oh. <laughs> well, I mean, strictly that's not true. Well, a, a, a um, spiritual. F- <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> oh, OK. That clears that's that up. That's the worst. <laughs> spiritual ones. Let's People use the word like pussy. pussy. We'll say pussy. Yeah, Leave that out. Oh, because when you F said word. a spiritual, f- I picked. I pictured a ghost going, boo. <laughs> <laughs> You're just waking up every night with ectoplasm in your mouth. It's like didn't mm-hmm. seem that bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also interested because you've given some some mind blowing, I'll say, financial advice over the years in regard to maxing out as many credit cards as those foolish companies will give you in order to buy crypto and then never ever pay your credit cards back. Can you explain that theory and how it's working for you? Well, (laughs) it's working beautifully and I'm I'm continuing to cred max right now. Listen, I would be... (laughs) (laughs) You're you're cred maxing still? If I I hadn't cred maxed back in the day and gotten my bag of of magic coins, I would be dead right now because I would have killed myself. Okay? So yeah. that's how that's that's my financial uh, <laughs> my financial independence. The ticket to my the ticket to my financial independence was a magical little card that said Barclays on it, and another magical <laughs> little card that said Capital One on it, and another magical little card that said Mastercard on it. Like that's that's how I fucking. Uh, but look, the um, if you if you know of an of an asset or a play or something that's going to go up in value, mad, why not? take out a bunch of credit card debt to finance it. Um, that's only mm. if you know of something that's going to go up that's going to beat, uh, you know, 20, your 25% APR or whatever. So it's, it's mm. case specific. Oh, you're case, actually going to pay them back? Case specific. I have been because I want to buy a house. But uh, there's really, if you're not going to buy a house, there's not really any reason to pay back debt. You can just that was it. always the thing. Because I was yeah. like, yeah, it makes sense that he cred maxed and bought <laughs> a bunch of Bitcoin cheap. And then, but your like advice is always like, and your credit score, fuck your credit score. And I'm like, well, what if you ever want a home or, well, most, or anything like that? You would pay it cash for the home. Unless you're making 10 your grand a day game. on, on fucking cameo, you're not going to have the capital. Most Man. people have no hope of ever buying a home. And for, for That's most true people, it'd, for most people would probably be a retarded decision anyway. Cause you, you're, you buy a home and you're the value, your wealth that you're trying to preserve in this investment vehicle is getting sucked away by property tax and uh you know maintenance costs whatever else i don't i don't know if i'm not uh i'm not sure buying a home is a good idea from an investment standpoint i just want to do it because i need a place to put my vehicles Um, it's typically one of the greatest wealth builders in any family the real estate market's just about to fucking implode just just i just it's just i don't know implode 
I don't but disagree like, with you. I'm just saying I don't know anything about it. Uh, so the last not. time the real estate market imploded, prices barely went down. They just sold more slowly, and then they went back up, and then they went higher. Like is that okay. true? But with yeah, even, like, like the cost even, of a house went to like 400 grand. Now it's there's some markets like Florida swampland in Las Vegas where perhaps it did go down. But the bulk of the country, your four hundred thousand dollar house dropped to like three hundred and ninety, sold more slowly, and now it's at six hundred. Hmm. I don't know with inflation and 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 then the rake hikes and everything. It it is really difficult for someone <clears throat> to 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 get into a house for the first time. The 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 system does seem to be uh, set up to keep them out. Good and, gosh, you're right. I mean, you want to keep them out if you're a landlord. And I, I see that like movement on Reddit. I was really confused by it at first, like the hate for landlords. Okay. Because like I've never had any like love for any of my landlords. I was never like, oh yeah, realty investment company, six million. I love them. It's not that. It's just like, but I mean, they own this fucking place. And for a reasonable amount of money, they let me fucking stay here. And like my rent was late that time and they they just like nudged me. They weren't shitty about it. So like <clears throat> Got no problem with them. I didn't understand the hate for them. I don't them, hate I, everyone else I buy goods and services from. Yeah, no. I feel, I feel like we've come to an agreement about what this is worth, and, and, and we got a good thing going. So like, I, And I still don't understand the hate for landlords as much as I understand. It should be a hate for the system. that like, like You can't fault the landlords any more than you can, say, fault a billionaire, billionaire for not just paying more tax. Like you know He's just following the tax code. Here's my new billionaire billionaire frustration. Mm. Whenever I hear a billionaire talk about how frugal he is, I think suck my Buffett dick, alone. you absolute asshole. Yeah, I, Warren Buffett today on Reddit was like, "I spent three dollars and twenty five cents for breakfast on a he day." He gave all of his money away today. You know that, right? To charity. Did he really? Like the vast majority, like ninety five percent. I saw or something. it in a tweet. But my question is. But did he really? I don't know. He's always, I'll tell you what, since Bill Gates gave all his money away to that charity, his net worth is like quintupled, right? Like it hasn't gone down one bit. It hasn't gone down once yeah. any particular year. Bill Gates just gets wealthier year after year after year. And he's still like the greatest philanthropist ever. I'm half wondering if these charities that they set up are some sort of tax avoidance scam thing. They obviously are. <laughs> I, I just can't prove it. But I have my suspicion and it's PKA and I don't need any like proof Like the Bird whatsoever. Foundation. But I, I've heard... Uh, um, Elon Musk lives in some inexpensive home. What and, a dick. Uh, I doubt yeah. that. I want Elon Musk. Elon Musk should build $20 mansions and then shoot missiles at them and build more. Just fucking pump some money into the economy. I don't care. I think that's I, what billionaires he, who don't live big, lavish lives, yes. like, we know what you're doing. We know you're faking. We know you're trying to be endearing to us commoners, us peons. Like, fuck off. We know. We know you're drinking, you know, champagne and having caviar behind the scenes just because you had just because you pretended to eat a bite of the commoners Big Mac once. I just right, don't know, you know why anybody cares. I want like, you to like, be. I want him to buy Kyle's used socks for seventy five thousand dollars for the left and seventy five thousand dollars for the right. Just piss money away. <clears> and then Kyle will take his one fifty and do something awesome with it. I, I don't I, I don't care. I'd waste it. I'd, That's I'd fine. Buy, then the I'd, guy who you wasted on <laughs> will do cool shit with it. I'd buy, I, I'm, I'd buy a full Sorenex fucking Olympic style <laughs> gymnasium that I that I'd put in my. I'd knock I walls that out. Idea. To get it all That's in. a yeah. good ass idea. I'd, I'd have that idea. giant power rack with the fucking stacks on either side, the three hundred pound stacks. Mm -hmm. oh. See, that's what I want to do with Scott. I wanted him to be like the FBS Russia of rednecks doing hunting videos and him to basically use military hardware on game animals <laughs> and be able to advertise like <laughs> hunting products on that channel. I thought that was a yeah. great idea. But nonetheless, Scott's not much of an actor, it, it turned out. If you guys watch those Gator show videos, you'll see he is as stiff as a board. And just know hmm. that's 30 takes. <laughs> that's oh. just sitting there all day. All right. Hello. Talking on camera is harder than people know, right? Like it, it, probably everyone Hello. sees himself Welcome or to sees, the someone, Gator show. Yeah. sees someone on TV and thinks that like if they were there, they would talk smoothly and clearly. Mm -hmm. But regular person, has anyone ever turned a camera on you and asked you to say something? You'll find yourself really stumped and stuttering and struggling. And to say yeah. it correctly, that right? Is because like he would go, hello, welcome to the Gator show. And I'm Gator. And I, I was like... That doesn't make any sense. Lead with I'm and Gator, and this is the Gator <laughs> show. You fucking idiot! Have you ever seen a TV show? Like <laughs> that's how it's it's. And it's, it went on like that, and it went on like that for like an hour because like every time he needs to say something, 
you know, for as I'm patching this video of his together, he's got the, you know, the pig ears on and he's wearing the night vision and shit. Like it was a whole mess. That's when I realized Scott was not going to be an actor. Although oh, yeah. I, if you ask me the video where he drinks the deer urine and it, it fucking hilarious, can, can we watch that? That'll kill the last three minutes. Zach search the get, um, the Gator <laughs> show. It's like um, youtube.com forward slash um, user or whatever the Gator show. And, uh, I think there's a three minute video there. I won't strike you. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> Even if I could log in, I wouldn't. <laughs> I probably got the I probably got the late login to the Gator Show. Um, those videos uh-huh. got a lot of views uh, for a channel with no. I guess I did push them, but still, mm-hmm. um, yeah. that was fun. That was fun doing that because I also like the idea that I could piggyback Scott onto my expenses. Yeah, play this shit. Give us audio. This is my cousin Scott. I just want my quick video to show y'all how Gator gets ready to go deer hunt. I got a few products here that I think will help y'all get those monster bucks. Now, the first thing I want to show y'all is the Hunter Specialty Special Reserve Doe Urine. It's in the package. I I swear to God, this is real. That's what deer hunters are about, the monster buck. The only problem is, is you have to use the whole bottle. I wrote this. I'm if you going can tell it y'all, the taste never gets better. <laughs> <laughs> Is he spitting it out? No, I he's can't trying see not it to. Out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> he handles this well. He handles this well. <laughs> now to get rid of some of that. <laughs> some of that vomit smell you know, he said. evolved dead down wind scent block he just flowed with it and like improvised there and said now to get rid of that vomit that. yeah you don't want the deer smell of the vomit I'm not sure <laughs> uh, it's better than deer piss he figured what is that? Just soap? It's, it's chemicals. Uh, scent, scent blocker. It's like water and some sort of, I don't know what, honestly. Mm, chemicals. Edible. Got that good odor in my pores. It's in my blood. You bring them big bucks and they're going to fuck me. They're going to be all over me like Sandusky on Pee Wee football team. It was tough. Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all. It's called it was a For this, you're going to need a pens, adult diaper, some Remington camo duct tape. I'll show you what the outcome of the product looks like. This is for a true hunter. Likes to hunt all day, all night, and all day the next day. It's this the thing right diaper. here can take a monster load. Trust me, <laughs> I dropped one of mine earlier. I hope That's y'all the enjoyed diaper. the video. If y'all will excuse me, Gator needs his gap. Gotta go get that monster buck. Yeah, that's a 308. Uh, Gator needs his gap. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. That guy is not a natural actor. He would not do well in uh, in late night commercials Vaudeville. or anything. <laughs> yeah, certainly not vaudeville. Well, actually, you know, no, he, uh, no audio might help him. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this about Scotty: he handled that deer piss very well. He improvised real well with the the scent blocker, and uh, and and no, everybody always laughs at that one. That's a good one. Definitely not. I wanted to ask Josh. I was over on your channel looking around. You you made a video talking about. I didn't watch it intentionally because I wanted to to let you talk about it. For sure. So you were either roommates or buddies with a convicted serial killer while you were in. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how did you meet him? And then what was that uh, friendship like or acquaintanceship, however it was? Yeah, I guess I should say acquaintanceship because me calling him a friend, I didn't realize people were going to get so pissed off about that. But um, I guess I should say acquaintance. Sure. Uh, I mean, I was in prison here as a disclaimer to everybody. It's not like I just what am I supposed to go do? Go hang out with all the Boy Scouts and, and the people that went to too much church and got arrested, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, his name is uh, Clarence Heatley. He was uh, known as the Black Hand of Death in New York. He was a terror um for a long time and he's a talladega medium and um a lot of people are always like if this dude because this dude man he had like he kidnapped bobby brown for example that's what i discussed in the video there's a lot of evidence you know that the he kidnapped bobby brown and whitney houston paid the ransom money the dude was linked to like 13 murders i had no idea that this dude was that big a shit when i first met him uh he's just uh an old orderly now which is kind of ironic because in his criminal organization he had a set called the janitors that disposed of the bodies uh now he's a janitor for the rest of his life in prison well that was Um, his prerogative yeah, he came full so, circle, karmatic, if nothing else. You know, how was how, yeah. how how did he murder people? Was he a strangler? Was he a like a yeah. prostitute uh, kidnapper and murderer? 
Yeah, so the thing is, game. he wasn't a serial killer for fun, necessarily, like most no, other serial killers. Hard He's work. a serial killer by definition of having a certain amount of victims, you know. But yeah, his typical thing was strangulation. Uh, uh, many of the murders were com- were not committed directly by him. He was pinned individually with like 13, but like 50 have been linked to him and his crew. You know, they called him the preacher crew. Uh, there mm-hmm. was some big movie about it called Paid in Full. And uh, I didn't watch that. I actually read a few conflicting articles and apparently got some of my information wrong in that video. And boy, let me tell you, am I hearing a lot about that? <laughs> um, yeah, that'll happen. But I had no idea that this dude was out on the streets, that he was a maniac terror, you know, that was like, they say if you overdosed on heroin in like the early or the late 80s, to early 90s in New York City or something like that, like it was his, you know, he had the whole police department bought off, he multi-million dollar. I had no clue that he was that big. I knew that he had been RICO'd. Um, I'm sure you guys probably know what RICO Act is, you know, the racket, racketeer influence, criminal, corrupt organization, you know, just big money mm-hmm. doing shady is shit. Is that like money. what they did for gangs where they could be like, they wanted to knock gangs down and so they were like, well, if we do the RICO thing, then any sort of low level nonsense, we can t- connect transitively up to these big guys. Right. Climb up the ladder. Yep. The mob. Yeah. That's what exactly. It's a mob thing. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And I had no idea. He's, I knew he was doing life plus 200 some odd years, but uh, the case was a lot crazier than I thought. And it was just interesting reading this because he's he's had a stroke now, I think. You know, he's kind of hunched over. He's got a walker now. He's in his 60s, if I'm not early 60s now, mid 50s, late 50s when I met him. And um. Man, it's funny because I just, I don't know. Everybody seems to be weirded out by the fact that this dude was so evil, but I, I shot the shit with him almost every day. I thought he was funny. He had a gnarly sense of humor. And this is the joke that I told I in the video <laughs> that is the number one thing that stands out to me about this guy, all right? I went to visitation one time. I don't even remember who I was seeing at this point. I don't know if I saw my mom or one of my friends came to see me, but he was there with his daughter, right? And his daughter was, she had dreadlocks and she was holding hands with another woman the whole time. Uh, and they were, you know, clearly very affectionate. We were walking back and uh, he called me Spider. He called me Spider-Man. You know, he's got a Boston accent. I'm not good at accents, but he's got a very <laughs> clear-cut New York accent, you know. He calls me Spider. He's short for Spider-Man because I wore my glasses when I was locked up. And we're walking <laughs> back, man. And I was like, hey, man, hey, it was good to see you in there, Clarence. You know, like, uh, what's your – he's taking another name now that I don't normally go into just in case people are trying to he, – he's a Muslim now. He goes by Muslim name. But um, mm-hmm. and, and I was like, yeah, that was your that was your daughter in there, huh? Or, or who would you say that was your, your family? He said, oh, yeah, that's my daughter, man. She's uh, She says she's a lesbian now or something like that. That's a little girlfriend that she had in there. And I was like, oh, I mean – I didn't really know what to say to him. I was like, I mean, it probably took, you know, courage oh, for to come in here and hot. Uh, yeah, I know, right? What, what do I say? Well, that's kind of where we're going with this because I uh, uh I mean she kind of looked a little bit like Tracy Chapman, you know. She looked like she drove a fast car. Oh but um <laughs> and I, I, so he was like, Yeah, that's that's my daughter. She told me, and I was like, uh, that probably took a lot of courage, you know, to come in here and tell her dad in prison, you know, that she's out of the closet now. And he goes, Oh, no, no, I don't care about all that. I was just telling her, I said, Honey, listen, daddy's been locked up for a long time. If you're kissing women now, he's got to see it, all right. Oh, <laughs> that's the cool. kind of interaction. This guy's cool. That's what I'm saying. Like shit, like that. Maybe I've got a bad sense of humor, but I laugh my ass off when he said that. And I know he was. I, I hope he was just kidding. Yeah. If he wasn't, it's even funnier, I guess. I but you know, I what, what do we know about these supposed victims? Yeah, maybe wait a minute. They, Who got hurt? Maybe, what were they up to? That they yeah. were hanging around with this guy. You know, it, it, to begin, mostly with. drug dealers. Oh, Mostly drug dealers that owed him money. Okay, like, well, just fucking a, show a bunch Biden's of no good nicks. A bunch of no good nicks. He was cleaning the streets. Look at that, man. You know, not only are they dealing drugs, they don't pay Clean their bills the on time. <laughs> <It's a> double <laughs> whammy. Hey, no, the crazy thing actually about that Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown situation. Bobby Brown didn't even owe this dude money. Bobby Brown owed somebody else money for cocaine. This dude caught wind of it and went to that drug dealer and says, "How much does Bobby owe you?" And he said, "25 G's." He said, "Here's 25 G's. That's my debt." And he said, "Okay." I'm good. And so then Clarence went after Bobby Brown as the owner of the debt now. Basically, just real life debt collection company. I've bought possession of this debt now. It's now in my hands. Uh, and okay. went after him and kidnapped him. Did he Damn. ask for more than the 25? When way, he more. Like, <laughs> way more. Way <laughs> more. Yeah, like 400 grand. Like 400 grand or half a million. Way Hell yeah, more. he did. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, no, that wasn't no quick brief investment. This was the, I'm about to extort yeah. the shit out of this guy. It's like a Wolf of Wall Street over there. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> just, like, yeah. He could have done that without buying the debt. No, right, he couldn't like have done it without that. the gun. <laughs> probably, but here was the thing, because I was thinking if he can't do that Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown's probably not going to be like, oh, I'm sorry, did you get the clearance? Did you pay my debt with uh, with Homeboy over on the other street? He's not going to ask questions mm-hmm. like that, but I think it would have been bad for Clarence's dealings with that drug dealer. He probably had no beef with that dealer, so he wasn't going to claim in this guy's debt. If he really wasn't connected to it, You know, that could cause issues there is what I assume. Mm-hmm. Well, didn't I didn't ask, ask him about this because I didn't know all this shit. Here's the thing. Here's what I'm trying to get out. He kidnapped Bobby Brown and got Whitney Houston to pay a $400,000 ransom <clears throat> to get him back. That has nothing to do with the debt that he owed. 
Like he pretends that they're linked. He pretends it made it just like it, it was an excuse. The, the kidnapping. Yeah. But really, he could have done that without buying the debt. You're right. Absolutely. I agree with you. I see what you're saying. You're saying it was basically just an excuse that he had. He saw an opportunity and just exactly. weaseled his way. It kind of was credentials with the criminals, if nothing else, you know, like, oh, no, it was legit. He owed money, bro. And I just took care mm -hmm. of it. Bobby was returned unscathed. I actually had the video. I have the footage in my video of allegedly. I obviously don't know that it's real. I've heard him jumping out and get them giving each other a big hug and stuff. But I was wondering if that's actual footage of it. Why was nobody arrested? Who who let Bobby out of that car? Y'all ain't gonna pull that car over or nothing, you know, like. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Y'all just gonna let him get away. It was a crazy story though, man. And I only knew him as the guy that, you know, he was always chill with me, funny sense of humor. And I actually took inspiration from him in a way. And as, as dark as that sounds, that man's doing life plus 255 years, man, or life plus 245. He's not getting out. No. And the thing is, he well, thinks he know. is. Unless he's really He thinks that. That's what he says, Kyle. Really he says he never know. Yeah, unless he's super, super healthy. He's not. Um, <laughs> he's, he's doing what they all do after 25 <laughs> years, which is uh, get to the turn into the drink, you know what I mean, and uh, getting a little bit quieter. And they always kind of seem to lose humanity, do, lose a little bit of their people, color after uh, 25 years. You guys, we, <laughs> it won't fit on your head. You guys didn't even, you guys didn't even talk about how much you liked my new hat. I show love your hat. hat. I love you. you to like please show your hat. hat. Yeah, I love the deals that it comes along with. <laughs> My man. get that far away in the last 10 Halo's been getting free hey. for our bucks all week. Please put it full screen. Hey. <laughs> you guys don't like my new hat? <laughs> I love your new hat. You're going to get discounts a, at AutoZone with I, that. I want this to get discounts at, at local Subway. restaurants. <laughs> he, they gave him a foot long for the price of a six inch while, while wearing oh, that. They call me the Benjamin Button GI because I was there. <laughs> no, I was the oldest fighter in the war back in the day, and now I'm the youngest, and people are always saying I'm stealing valor. And then <laughs> but it's my and then they'll, they'll be I was like, really hoping you're a time traveler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like you went back, fought the Nazis, and then came back to the future, and now you're just going about your life. I had to go what help, bro. Trying to, draw to defend right? my country. It, it, <laughs> would, would some of the fans do a good job of photoshopping Taylor on like the beach at Iwo Jima planting the flag or something? Not, <laughs> uh, you know, some stuff like that. He was in the Pacific Theater, okay? Just Time that's travel. all you need to know. He, yeah. he killed 50 men, and they were all Japs. And uh, yeah. if you could. I would like that if he could just yeah, use the background. Yeah, we need some pictures the, uh, to prove it, guys. Uh, uh, Semper Fi, Semper Fi, but I, uh, <laughs> I don't know about about fifty. You know, I'm not like Cotton Hill. I'm not quite a hero like him. No, no, you kept. You still shins. got your shins. Yeah, you still got your shins. I still got my shins. If you still got your shins, you're not a problem. Hero such as yourself should be should be celebrated. Yeah, dude, I just got so fucking baked last week that like <laughs> I ordered the world war ii veteran like in my head i was sitting there playing magic i think it may have like been after a pka last week where i was like cracking up to myself about how funny buying a world war ii veteran hat was and then like forget about it because i was baked out of my mind and then two days later it just arrives and i'm like this is wildly inappropriate <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <hilarious. laughs> and funny though and funny yeah it because like they're, they're too old i could i could beat up any world war ii veteran you know what i can be yeah anybody's Equally gonna gripe about it Equally yeah. ironic, and I think a little less offensive, if, is getting a kid a world's best dad shirt or something like that. Like a, like, <laughs> like a, you know, like a 13, 14 year old kid. Or world's best mom. That That's even funnier to me. That's going to get a lot of glances. Mom, world's greatest mom on a 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere she goes. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Imagine taking your kid out with that shirt She'll on, though. They're going to be looking at you. Yeah. And, give, and, and especially if you have, if, you're one, if it's one of those big families where you've got a 12 year old and a toddler <laughs> yeah. so you can take them out together <laughs> right oh I, uh, those are the kind of youtube videos i want to see I, I i tried to find a civil war veteran hat first <laughs> well, but they do exist. not sell those no they don't <laughs> not even as a but it's a funny idea to sell civil war veteran hats it for is. old people i mean my dad's a bodybuilder he's got a for shirt anyone it's a joke right. that all can enjoy <laughs> That's true. We take, the, we, take the, we take the hardened, intense sacrifice of the generations that came before, and we make it chintzy. We wear it on our shoulders. <laughs> yeah. We stick on the flag in the ground and say, look what we did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're American. I mean, we won. You know what I'm saying? We did wouldn't win. we still we be saying that the if the Civil War. War went the other way? Wouldn't we still be saying we're American, we won? Uh, There's mind. no... That's no. the best thing about a Civil War is you can't lose. Yeah, Not really.
Like whatever you know what? side wins America is going to come out and be like the righteous the Union, side won. But they still think the American. <laughs> it was the Confederacy, I guess. That's yeah, we were having the uh, Confederacy, I think. Dan. No, if, if they would have won, though, they just would have taken America and been like, yeah, we're America. America. No, no, I don't think they were into. I don't think like that was the plan. A new, new money. Yeah, see, so you're breaking up because you're arguing. No, I don't know anything about this. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know I was arguing. <laughs> if you, if you had a uh, I got swatted a couple days ago. Did you guys see about I, that? I saw the, Tell the me photo more. you posted online. Yeah. Have you guys been swatted before? I have a couple times. I, well, I don't know how many times, but enough Thankfully. that I don't know. I lost count. Oh, I've had really? to talk to my local PD many times. Have you? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. What's the swatting like in your? I don't know exactly where you guys live, but LAPD, they really, uh, they really wanted to show off all their stuff on Sunday morning when I got swatted. I woke up, I woke up to, to a phone call. I had been up doing drugs all night. <laughs> uh, I woke up to a phone call and said, hey, usually I don't even pick up the phone if I don't know the number. I woke up and the guy said, hey, this is, um, this is the police. And I was like, okay. Uh, uh oh, and he goes, yeah, um, we had a call that you killed your wife. Uh, and um that uh uh we should come get you and i was like oh well um you know first of all i i hope that's true that i did kill my wife but i kind of <laughs> doubt it. she's not here um, anymore <laughs> <laughs> i said i think you're being i said wait let me uh i think you i'm you're being pranked like this is a swatting that you're getting i didn't kill my girlfriend first of all stop saying that stop saying the w word yeah. but i didn't kill my girlfriend <laughs> Uh, and he goes, huh, huh, okay. And then I, I wake up a little bit and I hear helicopters going around, a sound I haven't <laughs> heard since I lived in Hollywood. And mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, are these, are these helicopters for me? Like, I live in a nice <laughs> area, so I haven't heard a helicopter. I haven't heard a ghetto bird in a long time. But I'm like, is this, is this for me? He goes, uh, yeah, we got a lot of guys out here. <laughs> like, oh really he goes yeah uh if you're if what you're saying is true and i'm like bro it's true i wait 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 <laughs> i didn't kill any i didn't shoot anybody uh yeah, i definitely way, didn't it's, shoot it's my pretty... fucking wife <laughs> yeah, by the way it's pretty flattering to send that many guys <laughs> yeah i was like <laughs> how, how many guys you got it's not enough you'll never take me alive Copper! <laughs> yeah, i didn't kill her but now i uh, think i might <laughs> I said, yeah, okay. And he goes, uh, you got any more people in there with you? Like, yeah, you know, breathe or not. I said, uh, yeah, my buddy is here. Uh, he's he spent the night. He's in the other room. And he goes, he's like really confused by this. I'm kind of like disappointed. I can tell they wanted to just come in and use all their cool you. guns. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, okay, <laughs> well, uh, uh, why don't you go wake him up? And we're going to need you to come outside. Uh, don't go outside until I call you back. <laughs> I'm like, what? Or what? <laughs> like, can I go outside a little bit? And he goes, uh, no, 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 don't go outside. And I said, I have a dog in here. Uh, and he goes, no, 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 hold on, I'll call you back. So, don't train the dog. I hang up the phone and I'm like, fuck, how many felonies do I have? Uh, uh, okay, let's go through guns. <laughs> uh, I know there's a bunch of uh, drugs upstairs. I gotta, I gotta start getting rid of it. So I go knock on my friends. I'm like, hey, uh, buddy, wake up. Uh, the cops are here. We have to go outside. They get. They think I killed my wife. Um, I didn't. Wake up. Come on out. <laughs> Alex Stein is a nut. He's the. He's the comedian. Uh, he's the guy who was going to those town hall meetings and like rapping about how you need to go to Ukraine, <laughs> uh, like full on with a little boombox, rapping, calling the <laughs> council members cowards because they're not going to go fight for his freedom in you Ukraine. Know, gas prices are way too high. Putin, has got to die. Put a bullet in. Putin's head. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm a freak for the vaccine. Vaccinate my body at the party. Sipping Bacardi. I'm the proof when I'm in a booth. Spitting on the mic. It's anti-vax. Putin hates all of them blacks. Putin is a bad racist. Uh, he wore this, uh, this hideous unitard. Like, he's a really big guy. And his body is like a Frankenstein, look, like a rectangle shaped. He put on a unitard and said he was a lady. And he was like <laughs> screaming at these town councils in Plano, Texas for 
trans <laughs> swimming rights. Uh, <laughs> no, this guy rocks. That sounds with hilarious. a straight face. So he goes. He he's like the next Alex Jones. I swear. He's he's so intense. Like, oh my god, dude, I can't. Um, he was saying he was shouting at AOC today. Hey, that's my favorite big booty Latina. My favorite big booty Latina over there. And she turned around and gave a th- a, a victory <laughs> sign. But then when she saw that she was getting made fun of on Twitter, she melted down. She's like, oh, it's just it's horrible that some man would come and say that I have a big fat juicy ass. And he's like, I didn't say that. I just said big booty Latina. She goes, he was just saying how big and juicy my butt was. It's like she's totally exaggerating and saying how offensive it was like bitch you we're fucking starving and dr- we're paying twelve dollars a gallon for gas we can't eat and you're talking about some guy saying you have a big butt fuck you yeah no one compliments my ass not anymore yeah see you're my favorite big booty latina i love you ass you're my favorite she wants to kill babies but she's still beautiful you look very beautiful in that dress you look very sexy look at that booty on aoc that's my favorite big booty latina I love it. My favorite, AOC. Nice to meet you, AOC. Look how sexy she looks in that dress. Woo, I love it, AOC. Hot, hot, hot like a tamale. Uh, he's Just funny. A, and like the, the funniest part of that video I saw was like immediately after it happened, AOC went to like do her little video and she like gets to the top of the steps on the Capitol or whatever the fuck she is. And she's like starts. I didn't like listen to the audio of it because I saw it just a second ago. And she mm-hmm. like tilts up the phone so she can get the guy in the background. Oh, yeah. And, like, and this guy <laughs> and he is looking for her. And he starts <laughs> going like, like, like waving at her, like trying to get. And she immediately like pans back up and is like, this is unacceptable. This is right. And it's like he looks it's like hilarious. Steve Buscemi and uh, <laughs> Billy Madison when he shows up and shoots that guy. Oh. Like that, <laughs> AOC's like, like right in her eye. Oh, this guy, you see this fucking guy? Like she's like a movie poster. This fucking guy said I had the fattest ass that he's ever seen. <laughs> in regards to my mother's hoarding, because we have a new chapter, and uh, mm-hmm. I don't really know how to. I don't know how to fucking. I don't know how to deal with it. I really don't. Um, Wait, can you catch me up on the previous chapters? Yeah, yeah. So basically, my mom, uh, I, I she grew up poor, so she. Hoard. She doesn't hoard stuff. It's mostly food. Um, she jar the worst thing to hoard. The worst thing to hoard. She she jars. She's she's begun jarring, canning things, vegetables, meats, deli meats, gravy, the things that no one should really keep. Yeah, there we go. It's just disgusting. Rotting. Those are her jars. Those are her jars. I walked in one day to visit her. And there was just this awful smell. And I looked to my left and it's like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house with those fucking jars. And I'm like, geez, is this like a home security system? What is this? <laughs> yeah, Cause I'm about to fucking leave. I mean, you know. yeah, that but is no, upsetting. It's upsetting. But I went over there. I think it was a uh, uh, two, two, three weeks ago. Um, you know, just to visit and I walk in and I think Zach should have the picture here. Yeah. And I'm like, mom, what the hell is going on over here? Can we this take, is take me through everything. What's on the floor? Take me okay. through everything. Here. <laughs> Powdered <laughs> potatoes, I see. No, al gratin potatoes. She 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 starts bragging. She, thankfully, she'll tell me that uh, she'll tell me what's what she's doing. So I'm like, Mom, what is all this sauce on the floor? What is this? And she's like, I went to Dollar General and they were having a sauce sale, and I just got all the sauce I could. And I'm like, What? <laughs> this, wow. Why? The and num- she's, I wanted the a lot number of number one sauce. thing that that can lead to food hoarding from what I've heard is buying too much. Yeah. Well, it's not just <laughs> buying. There's, there's another part. And this is part this, one. This is where it gets yeah, really disturbing. Because, no, because overbuying is a real thing, especially with oh, groceries. It's like the biggest, oh, I'm sure like people who don't have an issue overbuying is like a big fuck up. So, she so overbuys she doing, so BD? much. She overbuys so much. Okay. You see that box, right? You see that cardboard box? Yeah. You'll never guess what the fuck's inside it. A cat. Is, yeah. it, those, is it those meat no. jars? <laughs> is it the like rotten meat jars? No, no. Is yeah. it a loved one's ashes? Is it a loved one's, one's it, ashes? Is it, it's food. 75 it's food. copies of Man on Fire. Wait, what? <laughs> that could be food. Yeah, you if you, you if fucking you're tricked enough. us. You tricked us there because you said you'll never guess what it is. And Sorry. I would have guessed food. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it, it is a food. Um, it is. And I'm not I'm not shitting you because uh, I looked and she told me. It's a it's a trash bag of rogue macaroni. It's like 
It's like five pounds. Oh, what is rogue macaroni? macaroni? Like is they rogue, escaped from the factory? Rogue no like box? Like that box was like in an elementary school, a cafeteria. Something like that. Here's the issue I'm having. Like, okay, she's she's hoarding food. That's always been a thing. But now she's lying about it. Because she claims, I'm like, where did you get five pounds of rogue macaroni? And she's like, they were giving it away at um, at uh, this new steakhouse that opened up. What? Up, no, they up, weren't. Up the road. I'm like, oh, ne- were they? I'm like, they're, they're giving you macaroni. And she's like, yeah, they couldn't use it, so they gave it to me. And then I'm like, where did you – okay, where did you get all this stuff on the table here? And she's like, well, uh-huh. I got that at the food drive. I'm like, you didn't do – no, that's not a thing. No. no there's none of that stuff. Thing. <laughs> this is, Thank this you. is trash. This is garbage. This is gar- – yeah. So she, she I, I started putting two and two together. <laughs> she uh, talked about how my aunt and her uh, son, my my cousin, came over. And my aunt is somehow even worse than my mom. And I put two and two together. And I'm like, my aunt came over, gave this stuff to my mother. And my aunt is a known motherfucking dumpster diver. I've seen her pull chocolate milk out of the dumpster. Where do you live? North Carolina. North Carolina. Shut so up. my aunt brought my mom a, f- and my mom will never throw it away. She's going to pass away. I'm going to go to her house, go to the basement and get assaulted by meat jars and just macaroni will pour out of crevices. <laughs> have you ever told her that? Have you, have you ever been like, mom, just so you know, when you go, I've told her, I'm like, mom, I'm going to throw away every fucking like, rice is- crispy. And is this new? Is that an oatmeal cream pie cereal? That's that's actually pretty enthralling. That's enthralling. <laughs> no, that's that's I didn't know that existed. Holy Bro, this shit. makes it all worth it. That sounds kind of good. Right? I actually, yeah. now that I've seen this, it wasn't a total loss. That's no. crazy. Yeah, that oatmeal cream pie cereal? Bro, but God way, knows, I God knows cereal. how expired it is. Like, I don't know where she oh, got it. Oh, that doesn't go bad. <laughs> that's bad right from he the has- beginning. She has so much food. Listen, how long is she expecting this... to live? Like to 130? <laughs> well, how long has she been doing this? She's been doing this, I think, since I moved out. Uh, and actually, before that, I'd say it, it's one of those things that's gradually come oh, on. Oh, there's some more cereal over there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. There's. I don't know what Sweetos are. Sweet. I think it's Cheetos that are sweet or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That sounds. Oh, cool. it is. I see Tony. I see the fucking uh, Chester. The Cheeto. Chester. Yeah. 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 Uh. But- All right, gentlemen, at the Frito Lay's uh, corporate table, <laughs> our problem is our chips. They're too healthy. We're losing the public. What do we do? <laughs> How about we dust them in sugar? <laughs> when I went to go see Lord of the Rings, it was in theaters, and I was so excited to see it. I think I was like ninth grade, eighth grade, maybe mm-hmm. eighth grade. It came out ninety eight, like ninety nine, I think. Yeah, okay, ninety eight, ninety nine. Um, so that, that's eighth grade. Um, and I, uh was with my aunt and like she's kind of like a hippie and like i was just like oh i want to get high to go see it and she like gave me like a little joint because she knew i was gonna be alone for the day she had shit to do Mm -hmm. my cousin was doing shit so i got really high and i went to the theater and it was like a matinee and like the movie had been out for a while now and like no one had wanted to see it so we were finally going i was going to see it alone and i like i'm walking down the aisle and no one's in the theater and I go and I like sit down like fifth row and like in the middle, like it's like the perfect seat. Mm-hmm. And I like look to my right and I see this like, like big mentally challenged person, which he probably looked at me and thought the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but you give was, off that aura. Yeah. 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 And I was definitely emanating it now because I was stoned. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, like cross eyed. Yeah. And I like looking at him and I look and uh, he comes in and he's like, like on the level, like this level, like his hat is like, <laughs> yeah, like the hat's like barely on. Yeah. Someone mm. put it on him. <laughs> yeah. Someone put it on him. He didn't put it on even. And like, uh, he was just like, just like, like, like jogging pants that are you know are his favorite pants, <laughs> like fluorescent fanny pack that he'll scream if you touch it. Um, and he's like, <laughs> like coming down. He's coming down the aisle here. And like barreling I, down the aisle, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like and me too. He looked like like me how I did when I was stoned, and I was like, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. and like he's coming down, and I'm looking at him, and all I'm thinking is like it could have been anyone. I would have been like, don't come here, don't come here, don't come yeah. here, don't come here. 
and he uh like comes to the aisle and he like he hasn't seen me yet and he like turns in the aisle and takes a step but i like focused all the power i had into like scaring him away <laughs> like he What'd turned and like my bloodshot stoned eyes i was like <laughs> <laughs> and he like he was like duh, 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 and he saw me he was like uh uh-huh. and he like stepped back <laughs> and went back a row and just sat there and i know this guy i know his type because i am <laughs> like that too to an extent i was in the optimal seating Mm. And he wanted that. And if I didn't look at him like that, he would have sat next to me because that's the second best. That's- <laughs> and he yeah. would have done that not thinking even though we were in a theater by ourselves, which one time I did sit in the optimal seating. And a mentally challenged person did sit right next to me. But mm-hmm. it was a full theater. Yeah. So, like, we had no choice. What we're right next do? to each other. And the craziest thing that happened, also, once again, I'm super high, but this happened, like, three years ago. This was, like, Fast and the Furious 15 or whatever. So it was pretty, <laughs> pretty recent. And I'm, like, sitting in the theater, and I'm looking at the screen, and, like, something f- very funny happens that I thought was very funny. It was a very subtle, nuanced joke that just happened to, to that I found very funny, but not really anyone else in the theater thought it was funny. But it happened, and this mentally challenged guy sitting next to me the stranger and it happened and i was like (laughs) and he was next to me and i guess he thought it was funny too and happy that i enjoyed it and he was like (laughs) 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 he looked at me and i was next to him i was like i was like Like, that wasn't a laugh i shared with you (laughs) but like it was like to him i was like (laughs) and he was like 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 pat you on the back yeah that's that's honestly that is so sweet like it was he's trying trying to share a social laugh with someone who enjoys something that he does that's sweet and you know what like i i was i was like professionally an integration aid for many years i worked with mentally challenged Mm -hmm. kids and like you know i volunteered that for years like you know i was probably like they're my people that's me out there every (laughs) single one of them and like so i'd go i'd like volunteer like so like if i was prepared I would be embracing. It scared the shit out of me. He was like in my space. Like he was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was actually like, <laughs> also I had to tell you, like I was high, like super yeah. high. Yeah. So like, I was like already like in a place, but fucking. Have you but- guys seen this Andrew Tate guy? That's like, no. he's so he's like a, this, this guy is like sort of popular now. Uh, he's become like a, a viral thing. He was like a, an American kickboxer, but a, apparently was, was, successful kickboxer but he's gone like viral a lot on like tiktok and shit lately because he just he has all these clips where he's just like talks about how you should just like fucking control women and like all this crazy shit that's like it seems as though he's just saying it to like that is troll. Arc up people. It's provocative. as a troll but he has this thing called hustlers university where it's like you sign up to this uh sign up to this thing and he teaches you to hustle and make money is, oh i know this the, guy cash line yeah. Dude, I've watched a lot of his content. He's brainwashing yeah. me, actually. Yeah. So I was looking into this, like this, this hustlers university thing. I had to look into it, like what what it actually is. And so it's like it's about like marketing your product. And apparently, the main thing that they teach is like sharing clips of him doing weird shit will like drive traffic to your website. So he's got this like fucking <laughs> pyramid scheme where it's like getting you get people to sign up and then you get money and like all this shit so this dude's just running this like insane pyramid Dude, scheme from what i can say i don't, I don't know if it's like this that's guy how it works. is taking the brightest of red pills ever and he believes yeah. like there's all this shit about sort of misusing women and how yeah. high value alpha men like him would never have just one girl and you know how the, the girls are hoes, and and he kind of you know d- explains to people what their sexual market value is, and uh, like <sighs> I'm about to, to get to get myself canceled. The problem is he's like eighty twenty right, right? Like a lot of what he says isn't crazy. Like oh, I, I do guys hold right on to their some. sexual market value a little later in life? Yeah. Do women like rich guys? Yeah. Do women like handsome guys? Yeah. Maybe not the toppest of priorities. But, uh, you know, it's on there. What do guys like? Oh, they like really hot, submissive, young, inexperienced women. 
Guys, I sometimes like that. You know? <laughs> I, I think like, Whoa, guys, dude, not us here, at PKA. <laughs> <laughs> we like 55 year old Uggs. What I like is a 71 year old pig. <laughs> An absolute pig. <laughs> Did you guys look at, uh, or I guess not look, see what's going on with the WNBA player? In Russia, oh, I he was only know that she happened. was convicted yeah. and sentenced for nine years. I saw that. Yeah, nine fucking. Woo, years. I got off light. Yeah, <laughs> she needed Kyle's attorneys. That's I, so I, fucked up. Like, what? What's gonna actually come of there? What did she? It was, she had like a a weed cartridge or something in her bag or a couple. And of they're letting like her live. And they're letting and the <laughs> and the Russian generously are allowing her to live. Yeah, it's like. What's going to happen? Does she just like not get sent back? Well, I think what what gonna, gonna so hold on to Biden has already offered a trade. We have someone of value that Russia arms wants. dealer. I saw the arms it's dealer. Not, is that what yeah. it is? Yeah. And um, I either will make that trade or we'll sweeten it or something. Can I say this? First of all, I, my best guess would be, uh, no, you no, I'll take that back. I guess that's not true. I hope we, I hope after we trade a fucking arms dealer for her, after she smuggled drugs to Russia, by the way, because that's clearly what happened. Um, whether you like it or not, like, like you got to <laughs> wait. Pause. She smuggled drugs to Russia implies dealer to me. Is that where we are? Or did she no, literally... well, I mean she had some no, fake cartridges in her luggage, use. and she flew and she flew to Russia. I wouldn't even do that. <laughs> yeah. Kyle just means that, like, if she was bringing in drugs and aren't allowed. As far as yeah. the Russians are yeah. concerned, she smuggled some drugs into Russia. They Man, are not. You got drugs on you? Yeah. Oh, we're, Zach we're has hidden? something yeah. relevant. Russian prosecutors of trying to smuggle less than one gram of cannabis oil in her luggage. Uh, help me out. Is one gram of cannabis oil? Um, doesn't it's sound like, like it's like one, it's one cart cartridge. Yeah, it's one cartridge. Is a gram. Okay. Yeah. So this is obviously she just wanted to get high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, the the charges didn't involve like like um 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 distribution. It was distribution a charge of like, hey, you have this. Or, or, no, 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 and you no. The next, have this here, it right? says she was charged as a dealer. It sounds like bullshit. But oh no, said. not as a dealer. dealer. Well, that's insane because if she had one. Oh, car, don't give me that. She do? used it for, for pain in her knees and her. Oh back. yeah, yeah. I use it athlete. for glaucoma prevention. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I, I use it when I'm bored. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the ultimate illness. Too. Okay, we use it when we're fucking having a good time. That's when she was using it to her knee and back. Yeah, that's what fixes a pro, pro athlete's muscle soreness. It's weed. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here with your fake. I, I hope that she's a real Biden supporter when she comes back. I'd kiss his old wrinkly ass if, if he traded yeah. an arms dealer for me. A, a lot of people don't know, I'm sure, of our listeners, your whole whole story. But it started a few years ago where you trained your pug to do the Hitler salute as a joke. Can you yeah. walk us? I, I imagine there's hours you can go into, but can you give us a, a version of that? I'll try, I'll try and give like this short postage stamp version, but it's like uh, my girlfriend, it was my girlfriend's pug. She's my wife now, but my girlfriend at the time was always going on about how cute he was. Take, she was. take as much time as you need. Sorry to interject. If you want to lay out as much as you want, it's a long show and it's a funny story. Oh, no, that's cool. And, uh, well, basically, she would even, like, shove the pug in my face, going, look at his little face. Look how cute he is. And I'm like, fuck off. Like, I'm a <laughs> fucking dog. And then one day I was, like, giving him a treat, and he lifted his paw because he gives you a paw whenever he does it. And I went, ha, ah, that kind of looks like a little salute. And then uh, <laughs> a, a, a light bulb appeared above my head, and I just thought... <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? Be really fucking funny. <laughs> Man, so, yeah, the little, the little cute, lovely, the little cute, lovely animal, and then six million. You know, oh. <laughs> like, that, and I thought, that's that's hilarious. That that'll upset her to no end. But the problem is, is uh, he didn't do it all the time. He wasn't fully properly trained. There was sometimes he did it. Sometimes he didn't do it. And I didn't want to take the dog in front of my in front of my girlfriend and then try and get him to do it and he doesn't do it and it's like days of work just completely ruined right so i decided <laughs> to film all the times he actually did do it and then i made it into a video i uploaded it on youtube with like no intention of it going anywhere i even gave it like a stupid title i only had eight <laughs> subscribers they're all friends of mine they were all people i knew <laughs> <laughs> so i thought ah there's no chance anyone's going to find this 
<laughs> so, but then it uh, ended up then the plan was me and my girlfriend would like have little youtube nights we would put youtube on the tv in the living room and then we would watch videos and i was going to totally blindside her by going oh i know this i know this really funny video just you sit there <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put it on and then i was going to get my phone out and like film my reaction but before we even get a chance to do that i went to a fan fest in iceland which is like eve eve online the online space spreadsheets mm-hmm. game I was, I was very, yeah. very into that game back yeah. then. So I went to Iceland. And while I was on the plane going to Iceland, someone found the video somehow, still don't know how, and then they posted it to Reddit and it made it to the front page of Reddit. <laughs> right? I didn't know. So I've landed in a foreign country. Uh, so my phone is not not got signal i'm not mm. getting texts or anything no notifications i'm going around reykjavik i'm meeting up with my friends over there we went to the pub i got absolutely drunk like that and then i like stumbled back to my hotel room not realizing mm. that back home my fucking life has been burned down <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm running around trying to speak icelandic and shit man like <laughs> not, <laughs> not realizing that like hundreds of reporters are calling like my grandmother and shit <laughs> That man, right? <laughs> While I'm running around going, hurdy, gurdy, gurdy, running around. <laughs> <laughs> right? But then, uh, but then I get back to I get back to the hotel room. I pass out for a few hours. I wake up feeling like shit. I, I've like t- f- go to check my phone, and I'm like, oh fuck! Oh wait, the hotel Wi-Fi connected to the hotel Wi-Fi, and my phone just blew the fuck up man it's like you have like <laughs> shit tons of youtube messages you have 38 voicemails and like all that shit man right and then <laughs> and, and, like while i was just scrolling through them i only scrolled through them for like 10 seconds and then my girlfriend called me and i says what the fuck's going on what's happened and then she said why are there reporters at the door <laughs> <laughs> and i just went I don't fucking know. Is it the video? And then, yeah, I found out that the video went viral. And oh uh, no, this poor dog ruined your life. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah poor fuck dog. him. Yeah, fuck him, man. He get the nothing. Dog's 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 I hope, I hope you just boy. beat the shit out of him every day after this. <laughs> I, I do. I do. It's hard not to. There's a reason his face looks like that. You know. That's not a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, uh, dude, so right. before you oh, do, here's... I do this thing where I ship things. Boy and girl are together, I'm marrying them off. This is a forever relationship. When I heard you still had your dog two days after the last time you talked about him, mm-hmm. I'm like, this dog has found a home. This dog with its yeah. external metal sticking out of its skin yeah. and aggression issues has its forever home, and it's Kyle. Yeah. Um. So here's the the, the, the whole story quick. Um. Uh. I went and got this dog from the pound. He's uh he looks like um like a Malamute or a Husky type mix. He's got one of those stupid, cute, fucking fuzzy faces, and uh, he's like eight and a half years old. And he looks he look he had his earache. What, what else ears. is going on with his face? I, I'm not done. He's got <laughs> Taylor thinks he's he's got Down syndrome, and that's just because. <laughs> Look, he, he does. does. He has oh. Down syndrome. He obviously has Down he syndrome. Really has Down My syndrome. dog does not have Down syndrome. Yes, he he's does. You got him off from, from the short pound. He's a good boy. He's a good uh, does boy. His, does his he's skull have the little point? He's, he's, he's very does, smart. Kyle. He does Dude, tricks. No, nothing sneaks up on that guy with that person. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when he's I get to like the, a curved I, monitor, I go, <laughs> this, I go to this kill shelter. And, uh, and and it's loud as fuck in there. And I, I look at three or four dogs that are kind of like that dog. They don't have the small dog I'm looking for, but I, I want to look at everything. And he was the only one that kind of came out and was like super duper friendly and was like, hey, who are you? I want to know you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> dude, I've never All met right. a, down, a grumpy person with Down syndrome. No, they yeah. love you immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, so so how my dog is. He's got special needs and he loves everybody. <laughs> But I also babysit my girlfriend's dogs a lot, and they're over here a lot. And he got like food aggressive with one of the other dogs and bit her in the fucking head. And now that dog's scared. The other dog is a little dog, right? Not a little baby dog, but like a 30 pound German Shepherd type character. Okay. okay, And and, and so she's just like scared now anytime this big fucker is around because he doesn't look in that picture, but he's like 75, 80 pounds and like, okay. his paws are like 
three fingers wide or more. Like, like, he like they kill that thirty pound dog easily. You mean? Like, oh, it's like his. T he's got real boy teeth. Like, like he's got like fangs. And you know, most normal house dogs have little dog chewy chum teeth. Like and, the kind that could kill a person if it bit you but, on the neck. At yeah. the same time, he's eight and a half years old, and is the bo the bottom of his paw pads are so fuzzy because he hasn't been groomed that on my hardwood floors he's like it's like the Grinch trying to trying to run sprints <laughs> around here. He's just slippy sliding around and looking goofy like a like a big goofy fucker. Um, he's fine most of the time, but I'm always afraid that he's going to get like food aggressive and hurt somebody. So well, that I, seems I gotta justified because it's already I, happened. I, I've got little dogs around me right now. I've I, I've got a little Pomeranian and a, and another little dog hiding out with me uh here so so because the, they're afraid of that big fucker down there so i'm looking for a husky rescue for him because i tried to take him back and they're a fucking kill shelter and i don't want them to kill him and he's also got like they weren't taking care of his ear infection so mm -hmm. i'm taking him to the vet tomorrow to get his ears give him some antibiotics for his fucking ears and at some point the son of a bitch got one of his back legs broken and they put some metal hardware in there and you can see the metal hardware. And I don't, I don't mean through the skin. I mean, I went, tink, tink, that's stainless steel. You can put a fridge magnet on this motherfucker. And he's just walking around smiling at people. So I got a theory that maybe the reason he got a little food aggressive is because he's in a tremendous amount of pain from between his head and his leg. And yeah. so I, I'm going to get all that shit sorted out for him, whatever it takes. And then, you got like a cyber dog. dog on it. Next time I'm injured, I'm going to go to Kyle's house, bark a little. I <laughs> 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 like, like, already did this once, taking him to the kill shelter. <laughs> 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 I look back at it and I'm always like, oh man, you know, shit, 22 years old. He was 22. I'm sure with my brain now, I could have serviced him better to yeah. mm -hmm. prevent him from making such an error. But like I like back then, people didn't understand the overhead of YouTube. If you mm -hmm. looked up like Epic Meal time value, it'll be like ten million dollars, and they look at me, they're like, "You have ten million dollars? Give me dollars a year." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm and driving a fucking Nissan Sentra, you dumbass." There's not, fucking, I don't there's think not it, even there's not even a single million here right now. Am I wrong about this? Like, like tell me if I'm stepping out of my place here. But did did it inflame it a little bit when they came to my house? I was just about to say it's like twenty percent your fault. I wish I wish the YouTube drama shit existed back then. So I'm gonna be like, don't blame me. Blame fucking FPS Russia. The guy's what went down at your house. He's a man. liar. His name's. We got there, and this guy has like four cars and a phone called YouTube Money. Dozens of guys <laughs> in the couch. He hires a guy to play the Xbox games for him. <laughs> it was literally like, and they're looking at me. They're like, yo, this is her. he's got the same amount of views. So it's happening. I'm like, ah, listen. There's six of you. It's one of him. I don't know how financially responsible that boat purchase is. <laughs> it was like a $30,000 boat. <laughs> but it was like, I was like, yeah, I left. And I was like, fuck. Fucking Kyle, man. Why do you have to name what? the boat YouTube money? Because yeah. <laughs> you said it, it was so cool. When you said it, it was funny. Yeah. And I, and, and, and I, I don't until think I would have like, bought the. Until he was I wouldn't like, have bought my the, boat. <laughs> where's my, where's my boat? Where's my no, boat? I thought I was like hammering at home a little bit when you all had to share the same guest bedroom. It's like, let's say so you know, guys, like we're not really balling here. Like I got a three bedroom house. Like 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 there was a part where you you guys were all going to bed, and I like open the guest bedroom and they're all in there asleep in one guest bedroom because i only have one and they're on the floor in sleeping bags and i go good night epic meal time and, <laughs> and like two or three of them go good night fps russia and i close the door <laughs> no it's not even not even a joke like like when i think about like the good times of of like the internet or the experience i'm not like oh when we got hooked up at the club and we did this or like when we did it was literally like the times when like all three of us would humbly sit in your extra bedroom lying on mattresses on the floor and no one complained. Yeah. Like they were, they were literally, when we got back, they were like, Oh, I want to get a house in a pool. And I'm like, there's literally not even money for me to get a house. And if anyone's getting a house in a pool, it'll be me first. So <laughs> let's not talk about that right now. Okay. Get in line. You're like fourth. To get house yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, I remember and, things were simple back then, and I and I actually loved that. I was like, that was peak. I'm oh, yeah, so hungry, I'm about to pass out.
Uh, yeah, well, you look like you fucking can't fucking lose a few pounds. Just relax. So you would be all right. I'm working <laughs> towards ketosis. You're fatter than I am. I am. I <laughs> hey, listen, I went from two six, almost 260. I'm down to 225 today. You're living in a glass house, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fat fuck telling not me easy to lose to push weight. Around, <laughs> oh, no. guys, oh I better not catch you in prison. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I better not catch you 40 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I got to shake this fucking guy. I see him on the street. <laughs> uh, you best, bud. <laughs> no, no, you better hurry up. Old age creeping in. You're right. But if I get you well, from we're a wall, all short on really time here at DKA. So <laughs> thank you, Larry, so very much for coming on tonight. Um, I, I, I love your stories so very much. Yeah, they were um, great. Uh, Larry, um, <laughs> like, like oh, if Larry was my idea. So if you liked him, you're welcome. And if you hated him, like like most of my friends did, I'm sorry. Um, oh, uh, your was, friends it, didn't like him? I thought it was no, a, great a bunch show. of people told me they didn't like him. Um, oh, but uh, a, lot, a lot of people liked the episode. I thought it, it, we got like good, good stories I, out of him and stuff. Good, because I, I, I don't know. My, my, my friends d- didn't like Larry. I'll take a peek and see if it was highly rated or poorly rated compared yeah. to our other shows. He's just yeah. uh, uh, he's a, like? he's a guy that you got to keep on the rails because he I, likes to he likes to tell ancillary like uh, rabbit trail stories while he's going. God, I was getting so frustrated. I, I felt like you guys were judging me. Like Kyle brought this guy on who can't even keep his fucking wits about him long enough to tell us what a jewel thief does. <laughs> I, I wanted because I, I I was like. <sighs> Larry, tell him what it's like. God damn it, I said you were good. I've been telling him. Dude, it's so tell funny from that perspective. It's like that, that Looney Tune thing when you, when, when the, you want the frog to dance, but but every time you show him the frog, it lays there dead. Uh, yeah. and then, <laughs> they turn their back. He's like, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. I'm like, do the dance, God damn it. Dude, I love that having him on. One, I thought the show was great. I, yeah, I, I, I looked at the time. ratings. It was pretty typical for our, for our last like five or ten. And we'd be right in the middle. Um. I brought on the second worst guest PKA has ever had. That Who's surfer that? dude from New Jersey. Do you remember him? I may have blanked him out. I'm I'm sorry, dude. He was just like almost an obstinately bad guest. There was a dude in the background who was more entertaining than <laughs> oh, he was. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, and Ben who, Gravy. Ben Gravy. Who, who was the worst? The worst. Guest? I wasn't there for that episode, but I'm told Boss Nasty was the worst guest. PK. I don't know who had. that is. He was a professional I no gamer. Idea. I think you were on that episode, but I wasn't there for some reason. It was one I of the few I missed. The week before last. Yeah, touche. I'm gonna watch, so, I'm gonna watch it. I want to. I want to know how low the bar goes, dude. Ben Gravy, <laughs> he, like. We'd ask him questions, and he like didn't want to be associated with oh, it. Oh, he, he didn't want to like get down. And who was roommate. in a cab? Who was in a cab on a fucking cell phone? Who was that? Oh, that was a sixty days in guy, right? The Nate. At, <laughs> fuck that guy. No, that was <laughs> that guy. Yeah. That's my. That, so the, the better question is the ones who made us the maddest. And like 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 I'll get I get mm. I, he won't say anything, but but I, sometimes they've been so shitty before this. Sh- if you ever see me kind of being hot with somebody like right out of the gate, it's because <laughs> we've been talking to this guy for 30, 45 minutes <laughs> and he's already like gotten under my collar and I've already decided you're a piece <laughs> of shit. You're not a good idea for a guest. And if I were the fucking king of the world, I would have said, Hey, wait a goddamn minute. Hey, you get the fuck out of here and hung up on you, and we'd have just went without you. <laughs> Is like, that how you felt that about way. the bagel dude? Oh no! I liked having him there to. Fuck I liked with. him too. Yeah. Like I yeah. wanted to fuck with him because he needed it because he was just a piece of shit midget bully. Like, R.I.P. Uh, the guy was Nate's did he, friend. Did the stroke finally take again. his little heart? Oh yeah, he's six inches under. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he is uh, dead though. Oh, good. T- Zach says Cat Gun was bad. I thought that was a fun episode. I thought yeah, that we I- got like some fun jokes about the. If I recall, like making fun of her for her stupid purchase with the RC thing, yeah, yeah. because she she framed it initially as though it was like a track for like uh, it's not a bad guess. It's a for bad like person. real four wheelers and stuff, if I remember. And then when we find out it was RC, it's like, wait, what? You just ruined your yard like for nothing? <laughs> 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 yeah, I thought that was stupid. I don't know, it, but but look, yeah. look, it, it, there's frivolous spending and there's frivolous spending, right? If you spent fifteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars on this thing, who fucking cares? Yeah, if right? that's what she like, likes, like, let her like, go money. Have it. But but if well, you spent like one point five million dollars on it, I'm going to be asking like, oh, so, so when did the when does the when did the crowds arrive? Because this is a business <laughs> here it, now, right? Dude, Kyle went out and he bought a neurotypical dog. <laughs> 
We're developmental peer. His, his previous dog was a little neurotarded. And it, it, it is like uh, just for for Destiny's benefit, Zach, go ahead and pull up that Down syndrome. Dog. My dog does not have Down syndrome. It Your has dog. Down syndrome. We're He's so far boy. past this. We're so far past this. Everyone this understands. This is what Malamutes look agrees. like. Pull up a Malamute. Like that's what they look like. They have that derpy face. No. <laughs> um, pull up the dog destiny we'll see immediately oh. woody and i caught it instantly when you sent that picture the first time my uh, wife caught it a, instantly i showed her the a, photo and she's like oh what's wrong with him, <laughs> what is wrong with like, him? she was like why are his eyes that far apart <laughs> oh, they're not man. far apart he's um, a happy boy he is he's a happy boy oh man <laughs> <laughs> He's look, he looks his head looks a little weird because he's like so underfed there. He's gained like 15 pounds. He's looking good. Yeah. I showed him to my wife. Um, Zach, are you able to open that picture? This is who she thought Kyle's dog was related to, I guess. Oh my god. She thought he had that. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's Tell me, me you don't see the red like No! My dog's got all its <laughs> teeth, first of all. It doesn't have like weird little kid from Stranger Things syndrome. Yeah, he does. <laughs> no, I see the resemblance. No. Yeah, he does. Well, that and kid's he's... fully tarted. Like, 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 he's all there. I think that's uh... <laughs> he's all there. <laughs> I can't like believe my... that show's still going. I, I totally lost interest in that shit uh, after the first. I, I, I heard it gets better after. How? Oh, no, maybe. Two. Kyle, I bet we need to see your dog. Like Yes, get the dog. Uh, get him, up. Get him in the mix. He's leagues from here. I took I took him away. He's gone. What is happening? Why? He was so he was all tuckered out, and he flipped dog. his fucking water bowl over, it and then he rolled in it. Oh god, I bet he wet. looks like the last one, or even oh, worse. And now Kyle's just, worried about how judgmental you guys were. That's what it is. That's what it is. Kyle's afraid we'll find a defect in his new He's dog. downstairs getting dried <laughs> off. And he's I, got I, sloth I, from Ice Age in the basement. Not good. Alone. We, yeah. we, it's very no cute sloth dog. from the Goonies in the basement. I mean, you've got a <laughs> they don't have of them. Kid the <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a picture of him somewhere, right? Like, like you can show a photo of the dog. I just don't have him handy. You know, here, he's I, in I, the house. He's he fast. was handy previously. He was biting oh, on your toe God, and over the camera, and then... you're so much faster than him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone needs to take that dog to the dentist. It's got a little underbite. Poor. I fella. don't think a de- I don't think a dentist can fix that. With enough money, you can you can fix anything. I think you just want to put that one down. That's a that's a lost cause. Dude, Kyle's hard. dog is here. We didn't even notice. We got so distracted by the people. Oh, cute. Kyle, you muted. Up. But yeah, see. Yeah, we can have the talking about his dog. <laughs> his name is Toby. Unless you change his name, you're still in the in the window where you can change it. But I think Toby's a cute little puppy name. Yes. What other ideas do you have, Kyle? Uh, Toby or Bernie, but I think Toby. I think your name is Toby. Your yeah. name is Toby. Toby. And he's already used to Toby. His long eight weeks of life, he's already <laughs> there. Yeah. That dog he is, is so a much cuter. chill. Dog, good gosh. No, is he always that chill? No, he likes to run around and like be silly and chew his toys and bark and. He's just, I got to You know, he, he's done now. Yeah, he's done. He's done. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you have a little bow tie on him? I got a little bow tie. I have bow ties on my dogs too. He's got a bell. My wife puts it there, but I like it. They're, they're the bow tie boys. They run yeah. around. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. That's, so that's all that our group chat was today. Was just sending clips of dogs. <laughs> Where's uh, the bow tie? Oh, I see on the side. He's half uh, Bernie's mountain dog and half poodle. Speaking so, uh, of that, I talked to someone, or my wife was like, "Oh, th- that's going to be much bigger than fifty pounds because, like, my like, my friend has one that's like right, seventy five, eighty. So unless he's a real little guy, I think he's going to get pretty large. Seventy to ninety. I keep showing you guys that, and you're like fifty. I'm like seventy to ninety. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 this. Oh yeah, fifty. That's a good size. Like seventy that's to ninety. Like, is is this muted? <laughs> like, <laughs> I keep telling you, you just have to stop feeding him. Around, that, that, that <laughs> around it, you know, yeah. six months, plateau that size. Yeah, he's gonna be about 50, 55, they say. I think you may have bought a pot, <laughs> I, think you, I think you may have bought a pot belly pig there. <laughs> gonna be you're gonna do 80, a you gonna do a heckin' big jump. Do you have any uh pets, Destiny? Fuck no. No, you're not a dog guy, cat guy. Nope. No, no they're cute. I like playing with them. I just I don't want to take care of the animals or anything. 
I feel you. Does your wife have any that you got conscripted into? Uh, nope. Actually, you have a kid. I do. Yeah, he lives in Nebraska. No, oh, yeah. So you don't. You're past the the dog thing. Or no, <laughs> you, 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 lots of people like, or at least like friends of my parents I knew when they got like empty nest syndrome, a bunch of them bought dogs. Uh, well, I mean, I moved, so my nest is pretty empty. But <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even take care of my kid. Why would I want an animal too? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um. No, the uh, I, th- it's nice, but like when you travel a ton and you got to find people to babysit them, and like you're, sometimes yeah. your house smells like pets, and I just I don't want to deal with any of it. But they're really fun to play with. If I go to other people's houses, it's fun to play with their pets. I guess I'm like a pet. Um, what is it like an uncle Slut. or aunt? Where they talk about how like the, it's fun to play with like your nephews and nieces and cousins or whatever, but you don't want one of your own. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I nailed it. I saw some something go viral on Twitter like a, a month or two ago, and it was like someone with like a big like communist flag avatar, and they posted photos that they got roasted for. It was like fox hunt on the family farm today, and it's like an enormous palatial estate. Do you know how rich you have to be to go on fox hunts <laughs> on horses? Like, and so <laughs> like to post it, to post that is hilarious. <laughs> like, it's like diamond appraising today with the family, <laughs> diamond family at the beer family mine. <laughs> yeah, fucking ridiculous. Ah. Or you see the same thing. Like sometimes people will be like, "What would you be in a communist utopia?" And it'd be like, "I'd teach art, I'd paint." It's like, no, you'd you'd mine until you starve to death. <laughs> you, I don't think you'd get selected for like comrade. You will be number one Minecraft streamer <laughs> for the new republic. There was a um my my favorite meme for that was there was a big website. It was like a twenty question qu- uh, quiz to figure out what you would be doing on the commune, and you would go through and you'd answer. Do you have an affinity for art? Um, you know what kind of skills do you have? What do you blah blah blah? And um, when you would reach the final page, you'd answer the last question the job that it would feed you at the end was always subsistence farming. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you were, yeah. subsistence farming. Yeah, all that stuff about like what you have an affinity for and, and what your potential is and stuff. I sucked so bad as a teenager. My, 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 my GPA coming out of high school was a 1.98, to put it in perspective. I was a terrible, terrible student who completely lacked work ethic and just hadn't found his direction or motivation yet. All these other systems where like, you know, schools, you know, you have to take a test to get into the next grade, to be selected for college, to be there. I would have failed all of them. I would have been nowhere in life under any other system but this one. And I'm thankful I'm here because this is better. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Well, this system, this system allows you to do that. But it might not be the best thing for our society as a whole. Right. Like, Like maybe Woody would have been better trained as a lifeguard. Like that was your gig. You had it figured <laughs> out. Favorite. You should still be on that that Coast Guard tower. rescue swimmer. Fucking, you're, you'd be so dark <laughs> by now. You right now. You'd be so, <laughs> so <dark>. leathery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, have you had one blotch of cancer? Those are rookie numbers. We got to pump up those numbers, Woody. <laughs> I am the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, get like, cancer. You think that of me? In a system like that, like the people that you would actually pull out of and like, oh, you're not going to be farming, buddy. It'd be like one in 10,000 or something that's going to go be an engineer or some fucking Wouldn't have been mm-hmm. me. astronaut or some shit like, like your best and brightest. Right. And then but everybody else is going to be farm. better for society. Right. Like in this system, we allow water to find its level and they don't have to figure it out by 14 years old. Yeah. The only mm-hmm. way it works, you know, Gene Roddenberry was a commie. Uh, okay. They don't like, they don't like to talk about that over at uh, CBS. He <laughs> 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 was a fucking commie, and that's the idea of Star Trek. You're po- um, what, what's it called when you're po- um, post? Um, God damn it! Post scarcity. Post scarcity society. So all the people who don't want to do shit or can't do shit, they don't have to farm. They can just chill. So I, that's the part of Star Trek they never show you. The billions who must be chilling somewhere, <laughs> not flying starships and saving space uh, space anomalies. Are you ever post scarcity? If like if, if you're like if everything's covered like then power would be the thing that you'd. It seems like we always right? want more, you know. I was about to say, if human wants are insatiable, then post scarcity is impossible. They're pretty yeah, good at Star like, Trek though, because they can like create. Yeah, it is know, a show from from energy, yeah, and the energy <laughs> seems pretty uh, pretty easily came, came by to come I, by there. Right, but at some point it becomes a storage problem. <laughs> you know? It's like, Star Trek. They have transporter beams and fucking faster than light. They, they, they and and holodecks. Time. They seem to be able to store. Oh. Like, there's like um. Help me. What is the the telephone booth in Doctor Who called? TARDIS. TARDIS. Yeah, they seem to have TARDIS-like technology. They test the cancer 
right there in house. Yeah, I heard that part. Yeah. So that um, they can take the smallest margins possible. But it was still a pretty big hole in my face. Like mm-hmm. it was it was not nothing. Nice. Uh, I mean, not nice. I'm glad. I'm glad it was nice now. I'm glad it's fixed. So I have a I have a little story. So, so I'm out riding motorcycles, right? I'm teaching mm-hmm. Jackie to ride a bike, and what she she's a she only rides in the neighborhoods, like in a subdivision. And we haven't talked about Alex Jones yet. Oh, poor today. Alex! Oh, All right, like, like Woody was it? Woody's on. Woody's so toxic on Alex. Woody's Woody's on <laughs> WhatsApp. Like, oh, boo hoo! This is what happens when you make fun of children. <laughs> Come on, man! He's got negative nine hundred million dollars. <laughs> Lay off. <laughs> I mean, he probably had a few mil to balance that out, like ne- negative no, eight eighty. Did. That's why it's only negative nine hundred million. He, he, he lost nine hundred and nine hundred and sixty-five million is the judgment against him. Roughly, his people say it's over a billion. Jesus um, Christ! There's a previous it, judgment that's millions from the other. Do we, do we find any of the people who like caused our economic collapse that much? No, we no, we, no 67 we not, million was the highest. They didn't fan. Say I saw there are, there are the sitting fine. there are sitting senators and congressmen who lied us into the Iraq war, who cost thousands of people their lives, who will never face justice Mill- for it. Uh, over, Hundreds of thousands over a million of their lives. Over a million. Over a million. Yeah. Yeah. A million Jesus Iraqis Christ. alone. A billion dollars? How did they get to that number? Fuck, was it Biden in office during they went time? they went child by child and gave Biden, like Feinstein. tens of millions of dollars? To, um, there were some Republicans. The parents. Too. I don't know them off the top. The parent. Yeah, for the for the parents. Yeah. Um. I saw. Um. I bet I'm getting my cases conflated because, um. Today was also the day. That that shooter maybe got. Um, yeah. Not the, Cruz. Got, got got um um. What do you call it when they give you the sentenced? Sentenced. Yeah. And they gave him life instead of death. This is your subject the, matter expertise, Kyle. What the heck? There are I, there I don't are know. certain. I, don't know. I, I need <laughs> a cup of coffee. There they grab him and they put him in the back of the. And they, they take him to this. They take you to the scary place. Ninety nine percent of the time, I'm against the death penalty because I feel like there's just too high of a chance that somebody gets wrongfully convicted. Yeah, but in this case, like this Perhaps is not a this is not up for debate. He did it. Like this yeah. guy murdered what was oh, it? Seventeen murder. children. I believe like, it's seventeen. Like it, it, it's it's cut and dry. Like death penalty is for this. And so I would rather. Give but the death is it a worse punishment though? Like I'd rather die. Like 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 if, if you offer me cheaper. life or death, I pick death. I know, they cheaper. always argue that um, no, it's actually cheaper to keep him for life in prison than it is to give the death penalty. And I'm not arguing fix the that. finances of it. Every, just fix it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I, where your head the is. Thing, though, is I, I feel like the reason it's it's hard is because there's an appeals process, and we give the death penalty to people who may or may not have actually deserved let, it. But this the, guy, like, all right, this well, guy's let, appeals let, let's process come up with a third less verdict. than nine ninety. Exactly. <laughs> right now we've got really guilty quick. and not guilty. Let's come up with definitely fucking guilty. And if you're definitely <laughs> fucking guilty, yeah, that's no found by a, by a jury of your peers, you die today, right I, here. I, yeah, I don't see Deputy. this being. A That's slippery slope at all. <laughs> Please do. It's a deep water. And I'm How loving it. Work? How do you uh, actually... I, I'm what, did he, what did Alex do to you? Uh, he other than entertain you for all these years. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to get Woody to get here's, his payout. Here's, what, <laughs> here's the problem I have with what happened there. It's not okay. that Alex Jones got in a, a heap of trouble because they, whatever. What he said because they're after all our First Amendment rights. It, it really is that, though. Because if I you, knew it. I fucking knew no, it. It's watch, on every right wing. Watch, watch the video of his lawyer, or not his lawyer, the, the plaintiff's lawyer, saying that he wants them to award as much damage as possible so that it takes out InfoWars permanently. He made it about shutting down InfoWars, not punishing Alex Jones. To me, that says this is about crushing dissent. This is not about punishing Alex. Crushing dissent? Yes. This guy made a business out of saying that these were child actors. No, 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 no. He already that had the parents were lying. He made a, he sold supplements and made a wealthy, wealthy sure. man out of himself. He, 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 he told his followers to harass the no, surviving didn't. parents of the children. And he said they were at the parents' house giving them shit, harassing them, Which haranguing is them. That's horrible. On this, his direction. This is not about punishing him. This is about taking out infowars. How, and it's it's a start with fine Infowars. against Alex Jones. It's a and fine Alex, against Alex Jones that is targeting the assets of Alex Jones, which include it he, is. The, the lawyer said it, dude. 
The lawyer said we should be taking but out. But you're acting like it's about punishing defend, dissent it and said about, it's okay, actually about on. punishing Alex Jones. No, it they're is not about after dissent. everybody else who's talking. They're after Alex Jones because and he's, only Alex Jones. Because he's the he's the first target. He, this is not. Oh, is he the first Alex target? Jones. It's going like, to be Alex the, Jones, and then it's going to be Libertarian Tucker Carlson Republic, next, and it's going to be Tucker Carlson. Like that's who it's going to be next. And I, you not Tuck. Go, Call it slippery slope all you want. That is what it is. You don't think the Nazis were sitting there in 1933 going, all right, we're going to take out someone acceptable first and then try and link people to them? It's exactly what they did. It is the playbook. It's in Saul Alinsky's playbook, Rules for Radicals. The whole thing is mapped out. This is what they do. I'm so not what I'm hearing is they're taking out person. someone who's acceptable, but you're not okay with this because you're worried that somewhere down the line they'll take out someone who's not acceptable. I'm worried that that's where it's leading, yes. I'm well, worried. I think if we take out people who are acceptable, we don't have a problem. But that's but the whole point is to is to start it with someone who everyone's kind of. Your argument is we need to keep this guy on the air. Okay, we can punish him a little bit, but we don't want to lose Infowars. That'd be a problem. No, we need to keep this guy. Don't reframe my argument. That's not. I I think I'm pretty much on target here. You said they're going after Infowars, and that's your chief complaint. My exact that is my complaint is that they're going after Infowars deliberately, not just Alex Jones. This if they were trying to punish Alex Jones, the settlement, the money would have been way lower. So you're saying Alex Jones is not Infowars? I that is what I'm saying. Infowars is an entire company owned by Alex Jones. Sure, that he's the only thing I know about Infowars. And, yeah, I don't know anything about it. it it's oh, essentially oh, come Alex on. Jones. Hey, there are, Gwyneth Paltrow's company that sells pills is the same fucking pills. I'm not even kidding. They're the same pills. Gwyneth Paltrow sells them. Joe Rogan sells them. Alex Jones sells them. They all Alex rename Jones and repackage owns the pill it. company. No, the he pill doesn't. Company, no, he doesn't own the pill company. I just he read it today. The pill company. He contracts the pill company. He and owns, then the pill company he owns is the branding for the pills he sells. He is not the guy who owns the supplement company. That is the same company that supplies Gwyneth Paltrow with her shit. It's the same pills. It's funny because I read it today. And look, I'm only as good as my sources. It could be wrong. But it said he owns the pill company. And the pill company is transferring its money into a trust. And the trust is named after Alex Jones' initials. You are talking about the branding of Alex Jones' pill company. That What does it matter? They buy it's a the pills from separate financial else. entity. I don't care how they contract the pills. They buy the pills from someone else. That's the point. It doesn't make a difference. Yes, it, it does. It, it's not Alex Jones's pill company. I'm not, it, it, you're saying they, so they may pills. outsource the I'll manufacturing. That doesn't mean it's else. Not Everyone else is selling the pills. They so outsource the, the manufacturing. This doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make it not his pill company. It, it is. It, it, no, the, the supplement company is his, but he's not the one manufacturing the pills. You're acting like this who is cares his. if he manufactures the you're pills? You're acting like he's the only one doing it. Maybe I'm It's like saying here. Apple I, doesn't make phones because they outsource their manufacturing. No, 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 no. It's not the same thing. This, this iPhone right here, this is an Apple iPhone designed by Apple and then constructed by someone else. If you mm-hmm. were to take this phone and buy it generic from somebody else and rebrand it, that's what Alex Jones is doing. So by saying, oh, well, he made his money selling these, yeah, he did. But that's the InfoWars was around before Sandy Hook happened. He was selling the pills before Sandy Hook happened. Yes, he gained followers from the Sandy Hook thing, and that is a tragedy, is horrible, and he should absolutely be punished for that. But what they are doing is deliberately trying to take out a dissenting voice in the media marketplace. That is who's what they? they are trying to do. Yeah, who's they? The, the fucking establishment. The We're establishment like the because and the it was Republican. actually done by a jury of 12. It was a civil suit and the jury. And everything you're basing Alex this Jones on. Alex Jones have an opportunity to defend himself in this trial? Everything you're basing this Alex on. Alex Jones did have an opportunity no, to defend not. himself. No, no he, he did, did not. He, he went for years not dead. cooperating with no, the trial. No, he did he cooperate. He did No, cooperate. he didn't show up every time they tried to de- depose him. They Boom. No. You know what <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, exactly what happened here. You, you, know, you know that it was a discovery issue. You know that it was a discovery issue. They would not. They would not accept that what he gave them was was. He wouldn't what he show had. up and talk, and then because they weren't giving him a fair trial. So, so we agree now that he didn't show up when. They sure, but if they're not going to give the guy a fair and trial, then you're, and then his argument is. That uh, he didn't have a chance to defend himself. No, he didn't show up when they demanded his presence. Oh my God, you're you're totally leaving out half the story. But it's 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 neither here nor there. Like you're you you and I are not going to agree on this because I actually I, I in my opinion no 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 keep duking it out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to an agreement. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, all right, you know what? You want me to? You want me to say the agreeable phrase here? The establishment. No, 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 <laughs> no. The establishment. Chick Fil A is the only place that could be that anti-gay and not get canceled because they're just so good at what they do. They don't yes. call it an Arnold Palmer at Chick Fil A. They're still right. supporting those organizations. Like they, they were like, "Fuck you, we don't care. Yeah. Eat our, ch- eat our chicken." <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit what they're doing on the back end. That's good chicken, and they're doing. I don't. And you know care what? I, I every time I show up, everybody's nice. Everybody's friendly. So fucking nice. So what are good looking? That? Yeah, how do they hire like all upper class white kids at every Chick Fil A <laughs> I've ever been to? They're wearing khakis. They must up be the there. ones applying. Some of these boys are clearly named Noah. It looks like <laughs> Sunday school. Yes, yes. It's like a su- you nailed it. That's such you a fucking it. funny way to say that, Woody. That's yes. So, so, they got I love going Noah. There. Some guy named Noah takes my order. Let me describe Noah. Let me describe Noah. Noah could lose ten pounds. He's wearing khakis. He has a blue, a light blue button up shirt tucked in. He has a clipboard in one hand. He has blonde hair. It's a little, it's a little long, but he's a big smile on his face, and he's happy to see you. Welcome to Chick Fil A, motherfucker. How can I help you? Oh yeah, it is a wonderful, blessed day, isn't it? And he's got your. Oh yeah. Oh, when's your order gonna get here? It's already here. Look in your passenger seat. That's how fast how it works. <laughs> it's clack. See you later, sir. Guess it's again. Done. You're already eating. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the back seat. Your children been eating the whole time. <laughs> like, Noah's is. They're amazing at Chick Fil A. I, I feel bad. They for those blow the pants off of everybody else's uh, customer service. They Close do, the and they off. need it too. Like their drive-through needs to be more efficient. They have to be handling people deeper in the line yeah. because they, their line's that long. Yeah. It's a madhouse. It's the only fast food place that every time you drive by, even near a meal time, it's around the block. It's like you I can't feel- get into grocery stores in the same lot because the the tail is so. Long. I order breakfast from there a lot because you can get their. Um, they have like this scrambled egg bowl that has grilled chicken, cheese, okay. and um, scrambled eggs. So I eat that for I eat two of those for breakfast. A I don't lot. think I've had their breakfast. This sounds good. It's really fucking good. Um, I do grilled chicken instead of the chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets for breakfast didn't make any sense. And I don't. I'm sausage does, doesn't. Well, leave the judgment lifestyle. at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really good though. Uh, but I feel kind of bad. Like when I when I go to tip them, I, I if I, I I'm like ah, what kind of tip do you give some, somebody who has to go sit in a, in a morning Chick Fil A line? Uh, nah, I won't tip. <laughs> no, I <didn't. laughs> do almonds have protein? Eh, almonds uh, are but, fat. But but wait, almonds are on. fat. But I'm still on diet, a rant. You can go diet, when it's your turn. Okay, but I just you're 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 gonna move past the almond thing. I I eat a handful of nuts every day as part of the diet, and that's like basically my fat content for the day, and that's so, important. Here's where I'm going with this. Okay, I'm sorry. If, if you're not weighing your food, then you don't know what these almonds are doing to you. You can do what I did, which is eat like half a fucking bag of almonds, thinking that this is a healthy snack, and they're not. Are you are you down? You're gonna kill me. You're seeds? gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. I am going. I, I, to kill I do you. want to interject one more time. You're right. You're right. Because I I weigh the almonds and I have seventy grams. And guys, he's right. I've literally eaten. If you eat half a bag of almonds, they are nuts. Are the fattest, highest calorie thing that will shock you. Like you and could do seeds. better getting chips. My nuts. bad, Woody. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. So, what was the first Pokemon you ever chose in your entire life? Toto Dial. I got gold version first. And what was the what was his name? I just named him Toto Dial because I didn't. I wanted to know what his evolutions were named. <laughs> what was the What was the Pokemon character? What was the What was the the the, the species? Oh, uh, he was a he was a he was a Toto dial. He was a little blue alligator. Okay, I don't know Pokemon at all. Harley, stop um, trolling Woody. No, no, so this confused. is important. Wait, this is important. It's, it's because I want you to know when I was on ketamine and I left that after hours and I was walking. Here's is that what what's happened. happening? This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. It's crazy. This is what happened. Okay. Shit. Stop interrupting me. Are you talk? Oh, no, you want to talk? You talk. You talk. You want to talk? Go. Go. No, go. Oh, you talk. Okay, wait, listen. I was on Ted and Sorry, did I and Hear me you. out. Hear me out. <laughs> and then we'll get the fuck out of here. My bad. Oh, I want to talk about Elon Musk. I was going, I was going to talk about like okay. Facebook, Facebook being weird with what they, they let you see and don't let you see. But mm-hmm. Elon Musk has... I, I, I saw one thing that said... He had people working weekends and like overtime and stuff. And I don't know what to believe. I hear he's asking people to work 84 hours a week and then he's going to lay off 75% of his staff. 
And the layoff 75% of the staff thing is a thing he said, but then he met with the, the employees and he's like, I'm not really doing that. Because that does seem outrageous. Yeah. That, I thought what it company was... has three out of four employees that you don't need? That sounds Disposable crazy. Employees. They'd have to have a lot of have to a lot of dead wood. <laughs> have you seen that video of a lady being like showing what her day working at Twitter was like? Oh, mm -hmm. it's like it's on the same level. You may not have seen this video too, but but I think The Verge made a PC build video <laughs> a few years ago, and it was comically bad. Like step by step, they they ruined a PC essentially. Mm -hmm. But but like watching her go throughout her day, it was just like it was one break leading into another break, separated by like yoga and tea. You know, <laughs> <laughs> What's so, funny is tech jobs can be like that. You know, like. like <sighs> I had my time as a as a fairly highly compensated tech employee where it's like, you know, I bet I worked, worked. I mean, worked an hour and 40 minutes today. And and yeah. I don't think anyone in construction can say that, you know, that, that yeah. they actually fucking did accomplishments all day long. In construction, they could come back at the end of the day and be like, that pile of bricks has not physically moved. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I counted the bricks. Meanwhile, I imagine with accounting, you can play some number magic a little bit. Like you yeah, can, I, ah, you know, I'm tired. The algorithms. You know? of it. Yeah. But like in, in your boss doesn't know how to do your job. He's fucking stupid compared to you. So you're just pouring water on the cement and saying, this is part of the drying process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Zach boss is like well i don't know that he's wrong <laughs> <laughs> you know i asked him and i can tell my higher up that i asked him done <laughs> <laughs> so i bet like people in the south watch little league world series too i right? we actually do you don't watch the little league world series no i well, love the little no. dude those fucking south americans are always sneaking in some 20 year old with a mustache looks like John Redcorn's kid. <laughs> like, oh, and Joseph's up to bat, six foot three brown kid. Like, come on. That dude yeah. was working on a house down the down the street before. <laughs> dude, I, I watched a video from that channel. You like you told me about the baseball's not real or doesn't exist. And the guy was Salvadorians. like the, the most like the biggest cheating ever in the Little League World Series. And it showed a picture of these this team from the Philippines and like they some of them didn't even shave like before they played they were very obvious they had like man hands man shoulders man builds and like it showed you know how like you know if we were all going to manage a little league team and we were going to cheat we'd make sure that our team won like seven to five right <laughs> eight to three like like reasonable baseball scores these guys were winning 49 to nothing 60 <laughs> 62 to 2 71 to 1 one time i think they put up tr three figures on a team of, of <laughs> actual children and like in the end they discovered it because they're like wait these people don't match up at all with the, the the paperwork you sent us like this man is not 11 what i don't understand is like what parent leaves their kid in the game after they score the 99th run yeah, it's, <laughs> dude, I, I, there's more cheating in Little League than I thought. He told another story. He's like, there was this inner city team that was like went gangbusters through the Little League World Series. And in the end, they got caught and had to give their trophy back because like apparently the way Little League works is like it's regions. So it's like this neighborhood versus this neighborhood versus this neighborhood. And this uh, inner city uh, team had basically like expanded the area like kind of cheating and then said like, you know, Joey sportsman over here who isn't eligible. They're going to say that he's, uh, you know, Tyler Simonson who is eligible, but just sucks. And so at the end of it, after it all came to reality, like it came to the truth. It was like the, the baseball is not real. It was like in the end, they discovered that of the 13 players, only three were from the actual neighborhood and like mm. allowed to play that. So it was like the whole team was just people that they handpicked. Like, how do you not catch that shit? Like it, it shouldn't seem like it would be that hard, right? But how much oversight is there in the Little League World Series? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. They're not a not lot. Watching. Would you the ever go spelunking? Knowledge. Like no, no, no. That no. scares the Dude, shit out of me. I am, I, I'm down for more dangerous shit. I'm than shocked you said no person. so strongly. Oh, I watched spelunking risk reward recently, and 
this guy was in uh, he's in a cave and the cave seems to be like 12 inches tall but wide right so he's crawling on his belly and by the way i didn't say knees i mean he is like a snake trying to slither deeper into this thing he had, i think he took his helmet off because his helmet made his head so big it didn't fit in this tunnel anymore how small is a fucking tunnel that your skull doesn't fit in it yeah and, and he's like Guys, I'm in a bit of trouble because when I looked at this with my flashlight, I thought that it was going to get taller. I don't know the word, but, you know, deeper. You know, that it was mm-hmm. going to get more spacious. By the way, I didn't, I didn't say it. He's in like two inches of water, right? So he's on his belly in two inches of cave water with who knows what living in it. And uh, he's like, but I see now that it was the reflection that I should of have stayed the, in school. Of the, of oh, the ceiling on the water. So he thought it was oh. twice as large as it really was. And now that he's there, he's like, I, I need to turn around. And he's like, okay, well, turning around is not, not happening. I need to go out backwards, you know, feet first, the way he got in there. And he goes, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> this is not a joke. And I'm just like, the fuck? Oh. Imagine being stuck underground. And I'm not small. Like, I'm kind of big in the chest. And, and yeah, like, I, <sighs> I'm rewatching Breaking Bad right now. That's the only reason I can remember those <laughs> scenes. That's a great so, uh, one. One fun fact I just bought a car that was in a metal recycler's yard. That's a Dodge Viper uh, in Albuquerque. And that metal recycler's yard was used in epi- in uh, season two and five of Breaking Bad. So you know that magnet scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah I know that it. was there. And uh, I talked to the owner, and that's apparently awesome. he's, like, friends with Vince Gilligan. And it's, like, it's it really, really cool. That's that's really sick. That, like, Woody, you will rip sometimes on the, the, the Breaking Bad where, like, you're watching a whole scene out of a tailpipe. <laughs> that's so that's tra- true. It's pretty it, it's pretty over the top sometimes. But honestly, this rewatch, I haven't been noticing that that much. But what I do notice is like Chrysler must have shoveled money into oh, Vince yeah. Gilligan's mouth because there's a there is the most jarring scene. I watched it while I was working out earlier today. The most jarring scene in that show is not any murder, any torture. It is Walt and his son spending four minutes of screen time in the driveway with fucking mm-hmm. Skrillex playing with yes. two very average cars <laughs> in, 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 with like, whoa, a V6 Challenger. In the, in the like a C, yeah. Okay, a very, TA, whatever. This is a man who, 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 who like a few months ago was like, barely getting by and now there's a hundred thousand dollars worth of cars in the driveway like 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 brand new ones i i was i, I thought it, it was cool i, I love watch the scene because it's going and it's just like and it's it's panning back and forth and it shakes on the engine as though it's like whoa how's walt jr gonna handle this there's another scene where Walt throws a temper tantrum and like destroys a car in a parking lot by like just doing donuts or something. Do you know this scene? I yeah. think that's in the same episode. Is it? Yeah, okay. yeah. So yeah, his wife is making him return their son's beloved new new car. So he takes it and does some donuts before he returns it. You know, yeah. I think he destroys it. the car. Yeah, yeah. He, he destroys crashes the it car on accident and then just burns it. Return it. it. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Which would be a cool amount of money to have. Well, that's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler. Also, every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. How about that one, dude? I just finished reading about Kanye, and it's you didn't watch the video. Yeah, I you had to watch, watch the, the video. video. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw that. Well, there's the video, then there's all the analysis. Like, it's a long podcast to watch all of it. But oh, I didn't watch all of it. The part where he said, I like Hitler is probably the highlight, right? And the yeah. part right after that, where he goes on this little rant, he's like, hey, th- th- there's people everywhere, and, and, and those certain people want to tell you that there's not good in everyone, a little good in everyone. Hitler, for example. <laughs> <laughs> and, and because because there's a part where like like um well, alex jones is trying to save him right he goes these people are trying to make it out like you're like hitler or something and he goes well hey 
you know? <laughs> like, literally, he gives it to him. Like, they're trying to make it like you know, like Hitler or something. He goes, you know, I do like Hitler. I like his, his roads and bridges program. All yeah. right? I'm amazing. I like this and that. And it's like, dude, I'm glad you're wearing that mask. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing like a gimp suit while he's Here's doing my theory. This. Here's my new theory. It's one of two things. Binary uh, it, here. It's either Kanye is an actual Nazi or someone has kidnapped one of his children or loved ones and they are holding him and they are making him say that thing th these things because that's the only way they get you on a stage saying this crazy shit <laughs> he's saying stuff that's like when he just randomly went i like hitler it's like whoa why did you do that just now why did you just randomly pop off i like hitler? did yeah. you get a text from the, the kidnappers of <laughs> that says just randomly say, uh, I like Hitler in the middle. It's time to us? fulfill yay. your end of the bargain. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, stop calling me. Yay. God yes. damn it. I hate that bullshit. <laughs> yes, I will say I like Hitler. Just don't cut off another finger. <laughs> just, I Dude, I've never, I've never seen yay. No, it's well, well, like, like yeah. in my and my funny bit, like they're making they're him making, change yeah. his name as well. Uh, <laughs> like, like, I see, like, I see. none of this craziness is on. Uh, have you ever seen Alex Jones? Get so out, Alex Jones. No, no I've never seen time. that because, like, no. I've seen Alex Jones talk about Nazis and, like, he his take. He's like, these Nazis, they were liberals, people. They were leftist liberals. They were socialists. What are we? We hate socialism. These Nazis were socialists, and he was like trying to tear Kanye out of the Nazi shit and the blasé attitude that Kanye is just like actually Hitler. Did you know he invented highways and microphones? And it's like, <laughs> the I know, I'm using I, right I know, now artist. yeah, the, the, the microphone I use as an artist. And it's like, OK, I knew the Autobahn thing with Hitler because that's like a bar night trivia where it's like, did you who was in charge of the Autobahn? It's like, ah, we're going to get this. It was fucking Hitler. Yeah. I am so, so sure he had nothing to do with microphones. Like, <laughs> there, there's no way. I, I, I wouldn't mean, think what was he talking about? Like, engineer. And also to say he invented highways. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I just, like, he like, put a highway highways? in Germany. No, that yeah. I can buy. Sure, sure. <laughs> but I, highways, were they not invented by like the Romans, maybe? It, or, or like, when does a road become a highway? I don't know. <laughs> Is Look, it, if it's only if, if, if we if, if we start parsing this out, then we'll end up right next to Kanye defending Hitler. Right. So there's, there's no, <laughs> I don't think if so. anyone's curious about how much Hitler was involved in the Autobahn, fucking Wikipedia that because we here at PK refuse to, 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 <laughs> to list learn. any of yeah. the, the, the possibly, the, according to Ye, the things that were good about Hitler. We will not list those or even look into whether there are any things. That, <laughs> and and of course, Hitler. there's. I don't want to watch Bobby Lee content. Like, not that I, I did, but I after Bobby you Lee told content. me how sad it is, I'm like, I don't want to yeah. watch some poor so, guy get get like hamstrung and bullied on his I don't want to be the last guy in on a joke but so so I'm going to go ahead and assume that Bobby Lee's comedy and his bit if you will his character that he portrays to the world is the most pathetic man imaginable because that's kind of I watched some of his old comedy the other day and it was more about like ah oh, my my Asian dad is so Asian that he like mm -hmm. he's this and now it's like oh today you'd have today if you'd been in my shoes you sure would have um of course you'd have long ago if you had to walk in my silly tiny shoes that match my baby dick anyway <laughs> let me tell you Christ. some horror stories about growing up and how no one wants to fuck me and how i was molested by a guy with down syndrome for an entire summer once oh what you're gonna laugh a whole at that in my summer? face you're gonna <laughs> laugh whole, you're gonna laugh in my face about how i was able how about a man with down syndrome was able to repeatedly take advantage of me how yeah okay well let's laugh that up for a while and then we'll move on to how bad Dude, it still bothers me how many people <laughs> How many people have to drop the ball for that to happen for a summer? That's right. That's a lot of that's a lot of assault. He because that guy wasn't Ocean's Elevening his way into, <laughs> you know <laughs> like it was probably obvious. <laughs> it was like, and, and, and you know, the whole thing with his girl and like oh man, like like it's all real sad, mean stuff. And even when somebody's trying to be nice to him, that girl he's with now. Maybe I'm misunderstanding, and you know, I don't know his whole history or anything. I just catch clips, but like, she was like, "Yeah, I've got low standards, like really low." And he's like, "Well, don't say that." She's like, "No, you don't even know." In high school, I dated a Samoan with Down syndrome. For like a, <laughs> she's like, "For a long time, they've always been low," and she's saying this to her boyfriend, <laughs> and he's just like, 
Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't oh. know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know you dated That's some probably, with Down syndrome could, for a year. Could be the same guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's real sad shit. Yeah, it could be yeah, the same guy who molested him. How, how horrific would that be? That's hopefully, it's just. Been. Hopefully, this is just his. Character. He should have been like, and he's he a very happy getting guy. away with it. His name wasn't he Sammy, was it? Away with he's it. like, yeah, Sammy with the big hands. <laughs> he, he just starts crying. It. It's just these stare, like some guy standing there, like coyly buying candy. At the <laughs> <laughs> You'll never get me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, no, we can. It, we're making fun of a rapist, Tucker. We yeah. Oh, you're that. right. You're right. Yeah. He's a, he's a rapist yeah, first. He's a rapist. <laughs> it's one of those crimes that precedes no matter what you are, you are at first a rapist. It's like, yes. Wait a second. Why is he a rapist? Because because he, he raped. I watched uh, that that Graham Hancock guy, the, the guy I like from Joe Rogan, uh, the one who theorizes about the last I, Ice Age. Um, is he the Gagebly Techie or something? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Um, he's got. They gave him a Netflix show, Look at that, and I haven't listened to any of those. Dude, the Joe hmm. Rogan, the Joe Rogan power is strong. Like, like it got that guy a Netflix show. He's got a big deal Netflix uh, series. Um, it's like I don't know four, five, six e um, episodes. There's a lot of archaeologists already just shitting on it and be like, "This is blasphemy." I and mean, it's <laughs> so funny because right off the bat in his in his show he, he, in his show on Netflix, he's like talking about how archaeology tries to shut him down left and right talking about how like they don't want like mainstream archaeology hates us at every step they try to befoul us <laughs> or whatever nonsense he says and uh he's, he's like he's intersplicing these clips of the joe rogan experience and him talking to joe rogan like in the episode of this show but it's pretty good i only watched the first episode they went to um i don't know some dirty uh jungle and there was this uh, this like step pyramid thing made out of these sort of hexagonal uh, rocks Ooh. that are volcanic in nature, but they must have hauled them 500 miles or something. Um, seemed like a bunch of horse shit to me, but I was thinking that maybe the future episodes might have some more likely uh, um, ancient. That seems fun. And you know what? Like in the field of archaeology, like if some guy was like, "Yeah, I'm a mathematician, and everybody's doing it wrong," I'd be like. <laughs> Obviously, you're a goof because all these other people have their their maths. In a field like archaeology, I'm I'm willing to believe this. Like this guy's at least right on a thing or two. Like they're archaeologists get real. There's so much shit you haven't found. You don't know the right timing. There was a story that came out a couple weeks ago where like a formerly like debunked Roman emperor who was a total myth. They found coins with his face on it, and they were like, okay, he was real. Like, <laughs> okay, this guy was a real Roman emperor. We just found coins with his face on it. Like, it was previously thought to be a myth. Now, like, to think we know, like, anything, like, every everything, I guess I would say. Like, that's crazy. Of course, there's stuff we don't know. There's probably I really like the idea of those, of those civilizations that predate, like... Uh, that is cool. You know, the Ice Age. They, they go back to, like... I, I like the idea of, I don't know, people living in giant pyramids with uh, infrastructure and technology with like mammoths pulling their sleds and like worrying about saber tooth tigers and shit. Like, like, like I, I, I like that world. That's a cool yeah. world. There was a, I've mentioned it before, but there's that awful movie, 10,000 BC. And that's the whole premise. It's like apocalypto, but sh time but shifted bad. to 10,000 BC. Yeah. If you want to watch a great movie though, of, that Mel Gibson's apocalypto is always, always the, just the tip of my tongue when I'm recommending things to people. Hmm. It's a good movie. I haven't seen apocalypto. Like, I think I saw it in theaters, and then that was the most recent time I've seen it, maybe. I remember liking it, thinking it was really cool. Yeah, it's the, fun. It's really violent. Mel isn't it like, uh, it's about like the Mayans, the Incas? I get the Mayans and the Aztecs, Aztecs mixed up, but yeah, it's about those uh, South American brown people and uh, and how like yeah, it, the, the narrative is that these guys are in like a small tribe, and they're getting kidnapped and their village is getting ransacked by the people who live in like the big city where they, mm. you know, sacrifice people to the gods and have those giant pyramids and everything. And so they have to go out in the jungle to the little tribes and grab people for those sacrifices. And you see not through language because I don't, there's no English. It's all in some ancient dialect, but I don't think there's subtitles, but you kind of just visually learn through the visual storytelling. Cause Mel Gibbs is an amazing director that this is a failing culture. There is famine, there's disease, 
And the reason that they're out here hauling all these people up to be sacrificed is to try to stop it. They're trying to stop the the rot that, that's consuming them from the within. And then you see it at the end that <clears throat> the, I'll call him the wizard, but you know, the, the, the head priest, the, uh, the astronomer, um, probably a slash astrologer is, has been able to predict that the, there's going to be an eclipse and he's like giving the king the nod so that he can like pretend like he's the one making the sun disappear. And you mm-hmm. just imagine the power that that would create for your, your leader. If, you showed up because the boss said he was going to block the sun from the sky today. And you were like, bullshit, we'll show up, do it. And he went, oh, <laughs> and the sun disappeared. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, I'm. you got to do boss, what that guy says. You got to do what that hmm. guy says. Like, if, if you can, like, Jesus, what could he do to me? Yeah. Don't say, Je- don't say anything about Jesus. He hates that. <laughs> he hates that. He does not care for it one bit. <laughs> yeah. The, the Aztecs, like, the uh, like obviously it's like up in the air but like the amount of people they purportedly sacrificed is like insane like thousands of people a year are some of like the lower estimates like really so ma- they said sa- human sacrifice they were like it was just another wednesday Dang, bust like they killed another wednesday <laughs> they just sacrificed <laughs> so many people in their i guess to their gods or whatever i don't i don't know anything about like the Aztec religion, like they're well, maybe mythology. that's why things went so well for them, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. Mm, well, uh, what Graham but Hancock, always... but you may, but you may not know this, Woody. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, know, it, you may not know this. I think if I think Spain pushed their shit in, like I, uh-huh. think, I think Spain showed up and was like, "Oh, like you guys are in Dark Age." Oh my God! That like you know like we've had gunpowder for like a real long time. Like Aztecs are like, man, we should have killed all the inventors. Time. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we shouldn't have killed that guy who came up with that really mysterious shining bulb. Like, <laughs> oh, no. he, he could have helped. Yeah, like that. That was like a poor guy in history. The 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 Aztec Ben Franklin. It's like, oh, guys, well, great news. <laughs> then it just cuts to his head bouncing down stone steps. <laughs> Do you want to talk about Superman or? The Donald Trump trading cards that he released. Today. I have, oh, I have that yeah. right under Superman. I have that got, written down too. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do yeah. the NFT thing. I, I have a link there already for the the Donald Trump. I have all the cards there in that link, uh, that Reddit link. Uh, in- I choose to believe that you wrote down the link Ooh. in your paper book. forward slash. Yeah. at the end like xy like the capital old, p one <laughs> like the oldest of old person you know when you ever had you ever had a person w- like, w- he starts w- off with the http shit first yeah. of all i don't know what that means but but I protect know I transfer protocol yeah oh, idiot thank you it's almost like you had a career to help, help you know? <laughs> <laughs> so this You're- is like Holy i'm gonna go out fuck. on a limb and say far and away the most offensive thing he's ever done all right, so let's lay out what ah, this, this is before we go amazing. any further. So Trump Trump tweeted out yesterday, like the picture on the right, and he was like, "Big announcement coming tomorrow!" Like, like the hero America needs, or some shit like that. It was very similar to the one on the right. He was actually in front of Trump Tower, if I remember correctly, um, not in front of this American flag nonsense. Um, and uh, oh. it wasn't exactly that one either. But but yeah, he's selling these trading cards, a hundred bucks. I think there I think there might be a hundred of them. You can read there. I'm not going to I refuse. But I thought he was going to have a campaign announcement. You know what this means? You know what this is indicative of? He just uh, quit. What? He just quit. And uh, he no, definitely. He just quit. Really? He just quit. He, yes. He just quit trying to be president and went and went full fleece. He is not going to be president. He is going to half heartedly run. It's over. Uh, like, this is it. Like, this I is, think you're I, right. Like, this is the last... Like, like, what do you do after an NFT? Look, can, and, and look, and look. I hate to say, I hate to pick it. Up my okay, man. some of these are pretty funny. <laughs> that one on the left is, is genuinely a funny. Oh, I like the and middle the amount, one. The, 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 middle, the amount of work on the chin in all of them is hilarious. The, the chin. Look at his hands. Look at his hands. Well, but the, but the only part of like these that are so him is the face. Like, it's not his hands. It's some guy standing. It's, his, and like, they, they, it's not only his hands. It's his hands photoshopped to be bigger. <laughs> it is. Do you think they went through that much effort? I think they just put I can, his head on some this. guy in a stock photo. 
look how long the arms would have to be. He could be a he'd be a UFC fighter. He's built like John Jones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yeah, like oh is, man, this is upsetting. This is um, brutal. Yeah, he just quit. Um, and, and this is the work. This is awful. This is so embarrassing. I didn't realize they were NFTs. I thought they were just digital trading cards. Uh, I think it's they're... worse than that. I think I thought. Oh, they're not even physical. I can't even get a little card. They're digital. No, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is an investment, Kyle. I, I want to play it. He's... Trump NFTs are going to skyrocket. Then you just don't understand oh, yeah. NFTs. Old. Don't man. look at how any many, other NFTs. How many other? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look at the NFT don't market the in NFT general. NFT market. I thought. Don't pay attention to people have known it's dead for a year now. <laughs> like but the yeah. but the thing with NFTs Trump is, is going to make they, NFTs. They only again. have they only have value because other people want them. And this is this these things are just so fucking retarded that people will want them. This like, is so like, it's the same problem of every NFT this thing. We're so like, bad. it's just like a tulip bag holder thing. Like, yeah. we are enjoying the funny photos for free right now. Like, yeah. the guy who paid a hundred grand. Go back to the go back to the other pictures, like the funnier one where he's in the the cowboy thing and the <laughs> and the space thing. Like, we're enjoying it for free right now, laughing at his. I mean, I put a link shit. there with all of them. No one's getting like, more enjoyment by buying this trash. I uh, maybe you they guys are, are so know. wrong. A fool and his money are soon parted. You're looking at the guy who used to have. Oh, they removed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they removed it. Oh, the, I see. The oh, thing you is, wrote, for ninety nine dollars though, I, I how, how do you buy these? If there's a hundred of these, if, if hey, hey, uh, how many is so, there? Is there a hundred? So like two, it there says, are a hundred. And, and to your point, hundreds. Woody, I would like, buy the, one of these. No, no. To your point about like here they are. Like I had a link to all of them. Like like every single one of them on Reddit, and it got removed. They got taken down. Like like it since I put the link in there for like our use earlier, really? whenever it was like like yeah, that's fucking lame. I'm, I mean, you can well, look at people's NFTs, you just can't claim ownership, right? Is that the fake rule I, for this? Dumb I'll shit? be honest, I, yeah. I don't fucking know. It's it's man, that is so. Lame. This is the most embarrassing thing he's ever done. Yeah, I'm, I, far I'm, and I'm, away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lie down. I'm, I'm fucking buy one of these. If there's only a hundred of them, I know it's stupid. It's only ninety nine dollars. No 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 no, mean, no 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 no. The fuck knows what it's gonna be worth. Wait, they're they're ninety nine dollars, and there's a hundred total. Is that no, the case? There's no a, if there's a hundred total, no, there's no, no, there's a hundred. There's a variety right? pack. It, uh, this is like Pokemon okay. cards, dude. There ain't no. Oh, limit. So you can buy. There's, there's like unlimited <laughs> supply of them. Yeah. What do you get yeah. For oh, well, not fucking. No, man, if there's unlimited supply of them, then I, I thought there were ninety nine cents each. I completely misunderstood. I, when I saw this, I just didn't care anymore. I just thought it was so fucking lame that he was doing it at all. And the pictures are so silly. The astronaut one looks like Joe Biden, by the way. This like, is like yeah. the coolest thing he's ever done. <laughs> no. <This is laughs> the coolest thing he ever did was... Uh, oh, man, it's hard to narrow down. <laughs> <laughs> All the cool things he's done. All those nicknames, he, all the good ones before he was to cool. Santimonious, Sanctimonious, all that track. Yeah. He went to North Korea. When he, when he, uh, that, that tweet he did about Kim Jong-un, where he was like, Kim Jong-un's out here calling me fat, when I would never call him short. Never. I would never call him a short fat man like that. He tweeted that about Kim <laughs> Jong Un, about yeah. a, a, an erratic world that leader. Was like that was funny. <laughs>